Everybody, here we are. Welcome, Mikey McCoy, Awu and Shu Curie, William Gothrop, Awu to you, Mikey Patzer, right on time, same ripping time, 6:30. Mike Patzer, Awu to you. If I didn't give you a woo, if you beat me to the punch, just woo me back, and I'll re-woo the woo. Like Christopher Buckley, Rockville Center, New York, New York, New York. Christopher Buckley, welcome to JustRipIt.com. There's Jaws. I'm doing very fine. I miss you guys. It's been like three days. I haven't left the chair since Thursday at 1 o'clock in the morning. I slept here. I ate here. Everything, oh, it's all good here, but I am the pack fresh pulling pack mania devil. Box breaking, wax tearing, cello ripping, right down the line. Here to entertain, educate, and provide you a chance to pull what I consider a card of a lifetime. Any childhood memory that you may bring back thoughts when you were little, riding your bike to the five and dime store, making card collecting fun again, great again, exciting again. Let's make it exciting. A lot of haters out there. I understand there's haters out there. I understand if somebody sold a Jeter 93 SP10 for 80000 that they bought for forty, and they're happy, and now they see it going for 150 of course they hate the industry. They, they made a bad sale. They should have put it away. But that's what we have here. A lot of haters, but we're all happy here. We are one big family. Roger Andrews, a woo to you. The blue envelope, it's blue envelope Monday. Where's Mikey? Oh, it'll be Tuesday. Blue envelope Tuesday. Yes, Friday the post office was open, but they were unlimited staff. Ole K, Chris Askew, I ask you, how are you doing? There, Christopher. Johnny T, true back? Oh, wow, Johnny T. PJ Sauce. Oh, PJ Sauce, he's got a Crown Royale, Mikey, Crown Royale with cheese. Oh, it's so good to be back in the saddle again, here to provide some entertainment, some fun, and I don't know if you're with us Thursday, we went past midnight, if you're still trying to watch the rip clips and the show, it, it, it takes a while, you gotta fast forward, there we are. Zek Madrid, a woo to you with cheese, absolutely. Couple, oh, we got the uh, Pac-Man pack. It looks like another Mike, here's Mike McCoy, PJ Sauce. It's just so great. Kalinashkov Nikolai. Is that like Nikolai Volkov, the famous wrestler from Russia? A woo to you there, sir. And may I buy a vowel? Because uh, Nikolai, Nikolai. Yeah, that just sounds like a big, strong guy right there. Saucy, the late, late show Thursday. Yes, Mike McCoy, your streak continues. We are keeping track of it, but you get a pack. But also, Mark Yelly. Mark Yelly, look at this box. Jeez. Woo. You get a close second. Mark Yelly. I'll open up O's 2 to open up the show. The streak continues. Mike Bacchus. Close to Dick Bacchus, but Bacchus and Bacchus, woo to you. Brent Harris, a woo to you. And Richard. 
Giruso, Gizanicho, Tuyuo, Tristan Garber, Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne, the Wizard of Oz uh, from the movie, Ozzy Smith, we're looking for a 10, we're going to have that tonight also, wow, 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 couple of quick things to go over, we got an official stopwatch, Mike McCoy's Pack Band Pack, 0.8 seconds, 0.8 seconds to, can keep the streak going. Mark Yelly, 0.8 seconds. We have documentation if needed. Oh, they're trying to dethrone you there, Mikey. Mikey. Whoa there, a little marine. There we go. <laughs> the streak continues there. Okay, I'll go over those. A couple of quick things I wanted to go over. This is, William, we're doing fantastic. We're just going to go over a couple of beautiful equity packs. I got them out. I wanted to show them. 16. It's a teenager. Sweet 16 shares left. We pulled Alcinder last week. George Gervin's rookie card. Wes Unseld. We pulled some great NBA stars, but this is our 61 Flair. 40 shares. It's taking a while, but... Prices I've seen have been trickling up a little bit. Will Chamberlain in a tent over $100,000. Oscar Robertson, Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, or Will Chamberlain, uh, worth $75,000. Will Chamberlain in a nine. Forget a 10, $38,000. Go look at the pricing on this. It's a beauty. Take your time. It's PSA graded. It's just a beautiful pack. Hopefully it yields us some great NBA stars. Two other notes I want to do as far as, far as the equity pack model. We added, I don't think a lot of people saw this 71 cello. Most cellos have 12 cards. 23 cards. 23 in this 71 football. We're selling 25 shares. There's 23 cards. Make a note of it. We had to put it read in the listing up top. But in A12, it's 23 chances to pull Unitas Page, Floyd Little, Willie Lanier, all worth five figures plus in this pack. 23, two, three. John Sharisky, a big woo to you, my friend. The Royale with cheese, the new one. <laughs> I want a double, double Royale with cheese. Uh, so make a note. I just want to let everybody know there's 23 cards in there. It is really thick and fresh. 23 cards. A lot of chances to pull some packed fresh beauties. Secondly, you think that got 23 was a lot. Hold on to your hats. We listed a 70 cello equity pack. Uh, 17 shares left couple weeks ago this is a second series pack pay attention again it's not 12 cards it's a deck of cards 33 cards we're gonna rip open 33 33 chances and it's a second series pack about 130 cards or so 33 chances to pull name it worth 20,000 buckus unitas eller and a host of other hall of famers but 20 30 33 what an equity pack, 33 cards in our 1970 second series PSA graded pack. I wanted to bring that to everybody's attention as well. Uh, also freshly listed here today, actually, right before show, Christopher Peterson. A woo to you there, I'm trying to catch them all. Catch them while you can. We just listed a 72 wax pack, third series. Why is the third series special? Only 130 some odd cards. Hank Aaron and Hank Aaron in action, Roberto Clemente and Roberto Clemente in action, all worth over 5,000. Aaron's worth about 8,000. There is no 10 of Hank Aaron in action. Hopefully, maybe, keep your fingers crossed, we can pull a nice pack fresh 10 of Hank Aaron in action there. You can call your own shot. Just list the 10 cards, nice beautiful wax pack. Pay attention to that. Uh, got my oh another big shout out big shout out the mail the mailman came I got some blue envelopes so really nice Christopher Peterson we're about, it's beyond fire we're pulling lava and I'm gonna go over a Thursday recap also I got my I got some blue envelopes in the mail courtesy of Mike McCoy razzles my blue envelope came in right there some delicious razzles for the for the team here at just rip it Mikey. I thank you. We had pizza sent to us. We got spumoni pies promised to us. Some guys want to say, hey, pull me a good card. I'll take care of you. But some delicious razzles there. Throwing it back to some of those packs. One of my personal favorites when I bought a pack of cards for a quarter down the road. Okay, we'll get to these Pac-Man packs. Again, our jackpot tonight. Jackpot giveaway. Yeah, the razzles. 
Uh, by any equity spot, you get three spots in our jackpot. Any premium randomized, you get two spots. 150 anywhere else, you get one spot. Three, uh, three chances to get spots. First prize, again, Speaker than what I just showed you, first prize, any equity share you want on the board. Anyone, those three packs I showed you, they're yours. A free equity share, more spots, more chances to win, first prize. Second prize, you get a premium randomized card of your choice. Any premium randomized. It's scrolling up top. Third place, we'll get a 96, 97, possible Kobe Atomic Refractor. Six cards, the whole pack and wrapper out to you for third place. We will add if needed. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Second place is not premium randomized. It's randomized. First place, it's scrolling up top. First place is an equity share of your choice. Second place is a randomized card. Uh, beauty's up there. The uh, 1970 Topps Baseball Cello. Uh, the 72 I just showed, some really good, nice, randomized packs, anything below 150. In third place, you get this Bowman Best Basketball Pack, free out to you. That is our randomized spot-taking jackpot. Okay, once again, 93 SP sold out. We have a lot to open. I think we sent emails out. Uh, let me get these Pac-Man packs open real quickly for our winners winners and winners mark yelly here's the pack 0.8 seconds behind but we gave you one anyway too close to call here we go mark yelly three game cards out to you here they are one two and three Cool little suckers right there. And the rules are on the back, so you can play with your kids if you got any there. First card, I smell onions. Whew. Thank God they're picking up the trash. Don't be complaining, you're quarantined. The trash men are still working hard. And a woo to them. Super Pac-Man is coming. That was Thursday night. I'm gonna go over that a little bit later. All the forbidden fruits, it's a pack attack. Hey, I've been eating all the fruit in the house. I need to grow an orange tree down here in Florida. Mark Yelly, out to you. Pack one. Mike McCoy. Here is your record streaking. Pack man, packaroo. Super Pac Man packs here, by the way. Super. Waka, 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 don't you ever quit. We went to past one in the morning on Thursday. We don't quit here, we're not quitters. Nobody does it better than the Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man is ready when you are, and here I am, as promised, on Monday. And where's your speed now? Help save me. And the three game cards, Mike McCoy out to you. You probably almost have the set pretty soon. Oh, with some fever going on. Both guys get those packs. In your next week's blue envelope for everybody. Okay, what we're gonna do first is we have an equity pack giveaway, and then I'm gonna go over a pre-grade parade. Pre-grade parade. Fourth prize is a pack of razzles. Oh, those are mine. I ain't giving those out. I'll give out another equity share before I give up those razzles. They're hard to find. Mark Yelly swept the Evil Knievel pack. Oh, that is really nice. Dr. Evil, when reality TV was for real, that's for sure. Really for sure. Entries are coming in for our jackpot. First place gets a free equity share. Second gets a randomized card of your choice. Third gets a Bowman Best Pack. And of yes, we always add if need be to give more people a chance to win. Gene Prescott, a special woo and a room room to you. Uber and Eats out there feeding those hungry Americans. And Chris Pinelli, what's Johnny T in tonight? Oh, that's a little secret. Maybe you have to ask him what he's in. Joe Wackham. Can't touch this. Oh, I'm touching it. Can't touch this. Sipping and ripping woo out to you, Joe Wackham. A woo to you. There we are. Again, real quick, I'm going to give out the 59 equity, but one card we are going to put to auction, and I'm going to go over that shortly. 
So let's do that first. This was an equity pack randomization. Again, according to the rules, if we don't think the cards are worth sending to auction, we will at least give you the cards, then uh, have some random guy steal them from us. So that's what we like to do. But this text Clevenger by vote of the equity shareholders, we came back in SGC9, we're gonna cross grade it to PSA. A ten's worth over a thousand several years ago. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth a great shot. Like a second opinion of the doctor, we're gonna cross grade this card only to PSA and hope we get a ten because our equities will equity shareholders will get some good money back. So that will not be randomized. That will go out to a cross grade. The other ten cards are here in reverse order. So what I'm gonna do is randomize that list. The first 10 people, you have multiple shares, you win multiple cards, will get a card uh, in number. I kind of put them in number. Uh, the, the number one spot where I thought the most valuable card was an eight and a half of Rocky Bridges. We got Sparky and Billy Martin in there as well. Jim Patton, newbie. Jimmy boy, I welcome you to Just Rip It. Always like a new ripper. And let me tell you something. News is spreading fast. Share our videos. Like us on Facebook. Over 10,000 likes. We have a, a closing in on 1,000 YouTube subscribers very fast. So start spreading the news and get out there and share the Just Rip It because we are one. We are one big family of rippers here. And here goes the dice roll for the Equity Pack randomization nine let's go nine top ten people will get a pack a card of their choice here in order of ten to nine uh, ten to one let's go nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine there it is nine nine on the rando top ten people here we go, number 10, I'll leave the list up there. Number 10 for Dave Regiak gets Ray Moore, SGC5. Number nine, John Sharisky, you get Dick Brodkowski at SGC6. Spot eight, Gary Marks, the GM, you get caught spot eight, a six and a half, Don Cardwell. Spot seven, Mikey Pizza. Pizza gets Russ Nixon, SGC7. Number six, Brian Allen. You get an SGC7, Kurt Flood. wonder if that's a Yankee back then. Uh, maybe not. No, maybe not. Number five, Colonel Fire Marshal Bill Saunders. You get the top card, Bill White, SGC6 right there. It's getting better. Four, the Stiffmeister. Spot four, you get Ralph Terry, SGC8. Oh, just a tad off center, or we could have had a 10. Spot three, John Sharisky. Guess what? You get Billy Morton, SGC5. Look at Billy the Kid right there. Great player, better manager, Yankee great. Number two, Roger Andrews. Roger Andrews, bang. Sparky Anderson, SGC6.5. We had another equity pack. We pulled two Sparkies. This one came back at six and a half. You can see the centering issue, top, bottom, left, to right. One of the higher value cards in the set. That goes out to you, free Roger Andrews. And the one spot, Clarence Hose. You get the Rocky Bridges eight and a half. That's the highest value card. Eight and a half is really good. We were thinking about cross grading that, but it's Rocky. Uh, Rocky Balboa, but not Rocky Bridges. Uh, we won't get that now, but you get a nice card there in the one spot. That is our equity pack randomized giveaway. And like I said earlier, the Tex, remember Tex Antoine? Oh, brother man, Tex Clevenger is going to SG, uh, PSA from SGC just for a second opinion, trying to get a possible PSA 10, which will reap in over $1,000 there for that. Okay. Now, our first pack of the night will be a 1980 Topps Baseball Wax Pack. Christopher Peterson, who to you? Hey, Roger gets a nice card. Now, before I get to this 80, which I'm gonna open and rip open right now, pack fresh, graded, unsearched, and sealed wax pack. Who sell those in wax? I'm gonna take a little, uh, a little sip right here. Oh, 
87 Flair sold out. Showtime sellout. A lot of selling out. Get in there while you can. Uh, and if you were with us Thursday, we went live at 6.30. Uh, yeah, eight hours. I think we, we went well past one in the morning. It went from a Thursday night of pure volcanic action that I had to wish everybody a good Friday because when the clock struck 12, we were still ripping. Great Passed through one o'clock. The good Friday, Thursday became historic. A good Friday became a great Friday. I'm just going to go over it pre. We usually, any cards that we pull that are great, we would think we can get a 10. Hall of Famers, great cards, cards that we just love to send in to get possible nines and tens. We will send free and grade them on the house for you here at JustRipIt.com. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you what we pulled Thursday night on a pre-grade parade. When the cards come back, we show all the cards, who won them, and, and the grade. But right now, I am doing a pre-grade. It was a great night. Wow, it was a long night. But here is a pre-grade parade. These cards, Thursday and or Friday, we pulled, and these are going to PSA. Adam Bomb, 8A, checklist back, wow. Pack Fresh, Nolan Ryan, fantastic. You know who you are, we're not gonna disclose the people. Then 66 Fleer, Three Stooges. This is going to PSA. There are no 10s. We love it. We love it. Puzzleback, 66 Fleer. Also off the PSA, Michael Jordan base card. Pre-grade parade. Those are going to PSA. Not done yet. These cards are going to SGC. Mariano Rivera, autograph memorabilia. Look at that signature and the pinstripe all there. That's going to SGC. The sun will come out tomorrow. It came out last week. Sonny Jurgensen came out of our 58 rookie card. Beautiful. We're sending that in. Rick Barry, we pulled. Warriors. That's getting sent to SGC. A beautiful Zion Williamson crown royale. And where's the cheese? LeBron on the back. Yeah, it's not two cards. That's one. Flip it. Sip it. Flip it again. LeBron and Zion going out. We also pulled that night a George Gervin rookie card out of a fresh 74 graded unsearched and sealed pack. It was fantastic. Jim Stroh. <laughs> we still weren't done. Jerry Rice. rice -aroni, the San Francisco treat. We pulled a Jerry Rice for Johnny Trueback. That looks nice. That's getting graded on the house. We're still pulling garbage. Nasty Nick Pack Fresh Garbage Pail Kid PSA Pack came out. Nasty, Nasty Nicholas came out. And we even pulled a beautiful Don Sutton. This is just a little pre-grade parade that I wanted to show everybody who maybe missed the show Thursday again. And oh, by the way, going off the Beckett, customer choice is the Lou Alcinder 1970 beautiful card there if you missed it, look at the back pack fresh graded and authenticated uh, not graded authenticated by baseball card exchange that pack yielded some great cards I just wanted to show sleepy Alcinder Lou Alcinder there and that's it that night is done it's in the books can we repeat it we will try when tonight so without further ado i hope you enjoyed that pre-grade parade when those cards come back graded we will show them on our real grade parade with their grades okay let's get ripping Woo! let's get ripping in lightning fashion first pack up is 1980 tops baseball wax pack let's get only i think there's 15 in the wax 15 in the wax pack, which is right here. 1980 Top Space Bowl wax pack, 15 cards. This is graded by PSA, near mint seven. Graded, unsearched, and sealed. We have nine entries so far in a jackpot. Top prizes are scrolling on top. How to get spots are being scrolled on the bottom. It's a dual scroll. Okay, let's randomize this pack, then I'll go over it. Let's go. Pair of fives, which is a 10 on the Randu. Let's go 10 Randu style. 
Easy there, Night Mousy. Let's go 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Sixer. Seven. Eight. Nine. Discount double check was 10. And there's 10. Julian Patton gets a lot in there, but we got Johnny T's in there. Uh-oh. Ooh, he's in the pack. And Julian's been red hot as well. This should be interesting. Let's get these customers up on our board and ready to rip here. Live, filming before a live streaming audience at JustRipIt.com, where card collecting is exciting again here at Just Rip It. There we, oh, we're not that blind. Whoa, 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 there we go. That's a little better. Premium randomize is anything over $150. Steve Crutcher, if I missed and give you a woo, just woo me back and say hi again. It scrolls pretty fast sometimes. It gets pretty rampant, but there we are. First pack, 1980. What do we have in here? Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson last sold for $33,600 in a 10, February 23rd, 2020. He's basically the guy. Nolan Ryan makes an appearance. He's over $3,000 uh, now in a, in a 10. Jim Palmer, third best card, over $1,700 now. We got 1000 plus. We underpromise to try to over-deliver. Uh, look out for Jim Palmer, Willie Stargell, Winfield, Brett All-Star, Rick Russell, all 500 or more. Uh, Gary Carter, Johnny Bench, Eddie Murray, the Wizard of Oz second year card, and Reggie Jackson. Plenty of Hall of Famers in this. Let's get it ripped and going. Jim Patton. I know we got two, got two Pattons. Uh, Julian Patton, uh, Jim, pulled the Bird, uh, Dr. J, and uh, Magic Johnson card. And he pulled the Jordan sticker. He was just uh, going absolutely and ballistically crazy. So maybe the name will bring you luck. Patton's got some pull here. Just uh, look at that. 25, 25 cents is on there. Not $25. 25 cents. Wow, that's pretty cool. Graded right over. I think it was 15 cents back in the day. But just ripping.com is about to open up 1980,000 pieces of wax pack. PSA 7, serial number 4353-2623. Let's get it out of this graded, unsearched, and sealed case. And let's try to pull a Ricky. All packs, graded, unsearched, and sealed for pure ripping pleasure, giving you the best shot to pull the graded, uh, uh, uncirculated, beautiful pack fresh card. Touched by me for eight seconds, but right there. Where's the coffin? Rest in peace. It's gone. Let's get ready to rip. Only 15 in the wax. I think there's 25 in the cello. We put up the wax once in a while because it just looks great. It just looks fantastic. I was waist deep in plastic Thursday night. Waist deep. On deck is the 79. So we go 80, then we go 79. Here we go. Plastic on plastic. It's out. Woo is right. Nathan Jones. Can we rip that Star Wars early? Yeah, we got Star Wars. It's coming down the pike. Let's go a little quicker here. We went into a lightning round. We'll try to get that a little bit earlier for you. I think it's about six packs in. The highest they'll give is an eight for the price tag. Yeah. Top card goes to Julian. We open it from the bottom. A little streaks of mold, some bad grain, so we'll give this an SGC. You can see the granular. Seven. But sharp corners, though. There's the gum. Mark. So no one can ever use it again, because you need the gum to reseal packs. We don't like that. We just don't like it. Where's my bowl? Here we go. Card one. Julian Patton Jr. is a Met team card with Joe Torrey. Hall of Famer Joe Torrey. Yes, he was a Met manager at one point. Beautiful Met team card. We're looking for Ricky, Nolan, Palmer, Brett, Pop Stargell. Number two, Julian Patton, you get Mark Wagner. Tigers, Mark Wagner. That Dyson is fully charged. It's taking the paint off the desk. That's how it's charged it is. Three, Julian Patton, you are up again. Denny Martinez, there was a Denny and a Tippy. Danny Martinez, Oriole. 
Baltimore Orioles pitcher. These are all packed fresh corners are beautiful. Looking for some stars. Julian Patton, number four. Jerry Turner. Looks like a football player. That's a mean dude right there. That's pretty well centered, so maybe a little bit top to bottom. Coming up next is a 79. Number five, Johnny T. Johnny Trubeck. Mike Phillips, Cardinal. He's sitting on the guy. He's actually just sitting on him. Sitting on a Philly. Cardinal sitting on a Philly. Six. JP Jr., another team team card. He had the oh upside down. Daryl Johnson, Seattle Mariner, team card. Seattle. Tory was a player, a manager, and a great during that 9-11 tragedy. Great Yankee manager there. Sevon Julian Patton Jr. Wayne Nordhagen. No relation to Brett Saberhagen. Wayne Nordhagen Chisox. Yeah, Joe Torrey just played, managed, he's all over the place. Lives in New York City still. Eight, Julian Patton Jr., Ron Reed, Philly. Number nine, Johnny T. Dan Schatzer, that's a little bit off top to bottom. You can see how nice Expos, wow. Expos later became on the Senators. Number 10, the rest of the packs, Julian Patton. Let's look for some stars. Steve Dillard. What's what? Everybody had a freaking mustache in 1980. It's unbelievable. Mustaches are in. Now beers are in. 11, JP Jr. John Henry Johnson. That's big fro going on there. Somehow they even fit their hats on. Number 12, all Julian Patton. Closing out this pack. Butch Weiniger, not Winiger, Weiniger Twins. Great shot right there. Number 13, Joaquin Endoir. OC left to right. But again, corners are razor sharp here as they go into these card savers. Pack, uh, card number 14, Ed Halicki. Ed Halicki. We're losing some of the centering. And last card in this 80 is Miguel Delon. Cubs, better center there. All right, 15 pack fresh cards. A lot of cards in this series, over 700. Looking for Henderson. We will try again. I believe we have a solo up there, but that is in the books. Over and out and done a Rooney. There. Okay, let's move right into 79. We go one year backwards, so there is no Ricky Henderson. He wasn't even thinking about playing. Well, he was probably thinking about it, but he wasn't as near ready to play. 79. Let's see here. Okay. Thank you for helping us rip open at 1980. We will try again for the search for Ricky. And now we go into 1979. Tops Baseball. I think there's 18 in this cello. Here we go. Put them into the randomizer. Okay, let's randomize it and then we'll talk it over from there. Mork and Mindy pack. Oh, yeah, you like? Oh, let me just go over that real quick. Good thought. Free Mork and Mindy pack. Let's just put this beautiful 79. If you have children at home and they are driving you crazy, we are giving free wax, free wax out to the kids. Email us at support at justribbit.com. Let our team know what your son, daughter, niece, nephew, grandson, granddaughter, or even for yourself. We're not going to check, but we got Donkey Kong, Popeye, Little Shop of Horrors, the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. We have Wacky Packs. We'll give out for free. Lots of new, updated 
Amazombie. Oh, they, 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 they were great back in the 70s. We have Pokemon packs for your kids. Uh, Superman, Batman. Oh, it's just an endless. There's a Superman. We got baseball packs if they're not into the non-sport. I showed you the hockey. It's just a beautiful, beautiful box of packs. Also, we promised Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, they just came in over the weekend, so if you want Garbage Pail, here they are. Pack box fresh. You want to see what the new Garbage Pail, they're still making them. We, we only opened up the 86s, but there they are. The Horror Ribble. Garbage Pail Kids, we have those for everybody as well as the late the school garbage pail. Let us know if you have some kids home that are driving you berserk. Give them a pack, let them go sit in the corner and open it. And believe me, five minutes will feel like five years. Maybe they'll actually enjoy them. Eight sticker cards in there. The kids will like them, free from Just Rip It. If you, as long as you have a registered account, it's in our magical box here, free wax. Free wax. We send them out to everybody, including Mork and Mindy Jaws, Andy Griffith, uh, Rocky. We got a whole bunch in there. Bottle supplies last. We can't guarantee them, but we'll send you something. Give us some choices. A lot of people have been thanking us, sending us pictures of the kids open. They are the future rippers, and we need future rippers. Right now, we're going to rip a 79 Tops Baseball cello pack. PSA Mint 9, let's go for the Randu. Pair of deuces, pair of jeters, four times on the Randu. Let's go for Randu style. One, two, three, four, four, four. Tristan Garber, first card and the last card. Bookend. Tristan, bookend pack. Let's put these up. And here we go, 79, I'll go over the pack. As soon as I get this list up. And there we are, there we have it. Just rip it .com. about to open up a 79 Tops Baseball cello pack, 18 cards, Ozzy Smith, Ozzy Smith. Oh, the Wizard of Oz. Over thirty thousand, actually thirty-one thousand two hundred dollars three years ago. I don't even know what that, that could bring in a little less, a little more. We don't know. We're saying thirty thousand plus based upon the last sale for that. Uh, what else we got? Paul Molitor's trending over twelve thousand in the PSA ten. Nolan Ryan over six thousand in the PSA ten. Uh, those are current prices. Molitor twelve grand in twenty twenty, and Nolan was sixty-five hundred. Uh, other key cards in here will be a Pete Rose All-Star and a an, uh, Willie Stargell, Dave Winfield, and George, George Brett, all two to $4,000. Actually, Stargell just sold for four, Stargell. And where would Pop Stargell, $4,700 a couple months ago. Wow, Willie Stargell, George Brett over 2,000. Munson could be in here in a 10, he's worth a thousand. So is Yount Concepcion and the Carew Parker, another part of We Are Family. Negro, Bly Levin Carter, Ray Knight, Jimmy Palmer, uh, Dale Murphy, all a thousand plus. A nine of Ozzy's trending close to a thousand dollars. So if you get a, a card and it's not a nine, uh, not a 10, it's a nine, you're still making a nice investment there. But here we go, four in the Randu. Uh, 1979, We Are Family was the song, was the song, the theme song for the Pirates. Uh, they beat the Expos, and then they beat the Reds, and then they beat the Orioles to win the World Series, and We Are Family was the theme song in 79 for those Parker Stargell Pirates. Let's see if we can pull a Pops out of here, we just don't know, but PS, just rip it .com is about to open up 1979 Tops Baseball Cello Pack. Mint nine top card prospects. Let's see how those guys made out. Here, sixty-one Fleer sold out. Oh, you know what time it is? Leatherhead time. Leatherhead time. Tim Kaiser. <laughs> Welcome to Just Rip. A lot of people. Nicholas Anthony San Dolce. Mamma mia. A woo to you. Gives it each there in NAS. Sangle Dolce. I tell you, my kids growing up love their Dolce. They love their Dolce, which is candy in Italian. And we got some candy here. Rip it, just rip it. Rip, rip, rip. Where's a little rip it frog? 79 Cello about to be leashed out here. 
And here we go. Not that bad with the cleanup. I may be able to. Nope, I'm still gonna have to. Ooh, ow. Damn pieces of plastic are sharp. Matt is taking a beating. Look at that. All fun and games, so that nails you in the eye. That's a toothpick shard of plastic. Oh, E-O-E-L-A. Pirates World Series star, Joe Keith, Aaron is sharing the NLV of Christopher Buckley. I love it. Joseph Kilgore, a who to you? Anybody, we, we have the best community out there. Stats, jokes, it's a, it's, it's a comedy show. It's a comedy show with packed fresh cards. Like this one right here, 30 cents, 1979. If you had three dimes, six nickels, a quarter and five pennies, or 30 pennies, that got you this beautiful cello pack with a stick of gum, and there's the gum. We open it from the bottom, Tristan Barber gets the top card. Jonas here. Jonas DeWitt, Jonas Blake and Liam. That's it, just Jonas Blake, Liam DeWitt. Welcome to Just Rip It. Jonas pulled that Al Cinder last week. Ah, oh, that was magic. Magical. 17 spots in our jackpot. Top prize gets a free equity share of your choice. As I butcher up this cello, which is fine. Three left in the 68 wax. That is a very rare pack indeed. 68 baseball wax. Only three left. The 61 Fleer is gone. Some of these older packs, get them while you can, because once they start to get lower, they just go. Here we go. We're looking for Ozzy. A lot of guys in this 79. I'm very impressed with this pack, as well as the 78, which is on, on deck, by the way, is Garbage Pail, and then Double Deck in the hole. Garbage Pail in the hole is 78 baseball coming up. So here we go. Tristan Garber, number one. Ace Prospects, Dwayne Murphy, Bruce Robinson, Alan Worth, all in black and white, A's prospects. And on the back, they put a little bio. I think uh, we're all well aware that none of these guys really turned out to be great prospects, but they, they must have tried. We'll give them credit. William Carr, you are up. Bob Apodaca, Abracadabra, Bob Abracadabra. Looks like he's got that Larry hairdo from the Three Stooges of the Mets. Or what's with the hairdo in 79 and 80? 30 pennies, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll now get you 30K. It's unbelievable. We only know. If we only know. Salvatore Cermia. Wow, you get Don Stanhouse. I remember that guy. Look at that hair. Don Stanhouse. There's a stack house, a Stanhouse. Oh, Mark Yelly calling for Dale Murphy. All right. I'll, well, we would love a Dale Murphy. We would love a Dale Murphy. Salvatore, card number four. Dan Briggs of the Briggs and Stratton engine. Just kidding. Danny Briggs, Indians. Card five, Tristan Garber. I always thought any checklist that especially is 41 years old that wasn't marked with command value, but there's one of them. They don't, but that's checklist 122 through 242. Just a great nostalgia card to see. 120 plus players that played in 79 in their cards. Pre-internet, when we were at, we're, you know, we had to check off these boxes. We didn't have spreadsheets. There was no Microsoft. We got the cards. We went into our room and checked the boxes off. That's what we did. Hats off to us. Six, Chris Harrington. <laughs> Padre prospect. Beswick, Mura, Perkins. Broderick looked like he had a stack of Perkins pancakes. Broderick Perkins. Oh, he's all happy, that guy. Look at him. Man, a prospect. All right. Let's keep it going here. Number seven, Larry Woodard. A woo to you. You get Toronto Blue Jay, Alan Ashby. Alan Ashby and those blue Toronto uniforms with a big Blue Jay on it. Blue Jays, Orioles, a lot of birds. Cardinals. Eight, Jim Lavoy, Rick Honeycutt. Look at that. He's got that hat down. Look at the hat. Looks like it wasn't even fitted. Rick Honeycutt. He was a good pitcher. Nicely centered, too. Rick Honeycutt. Card eight. Number nine, Mark Rachich. What sleeves do you use there? What sleeves? We got penny sleeves. They're thick and they're different thickness. We use Card Saver One. All the grading companies want them in Card Saver One. Those are the ones that you buy. They're acrylic, they're smooth as silk. The cards go right in there and they're magnificent. 
That's what we use. Mark Rachik number nine. It's gum. Gum came right off. Jim Bar. Giant. Jim Bar. Rick Honeycutt's rookie year, huh? He's got 72 and 73 stats, but he really didn't play. He played in 72 and, uh, I'm sorry, 77 and 78. This could be his first card. Yeah, Rick Honeycutt. Mikey, that is correct. That is correct. Number 10, Fire Marshal Bill. Gum popped right off. I will grade that momentarily. Craig Swan. Looking for a Lynn Swan in 75. That's Craig Swan. They all had that Keith Hernandez mustache. Again, the mustaches. Crazy stuff. Card saver one, yes. They are. I don't like the sleeves. People, I put them in a the sleeve, put them in a the sleeve. No. no, no, no. Magicians have nothing up their sleeve. You don't put them in sleeves. Put them right into the card saver. I'll take a little break here and grade this gum. Anything population, anything SGC or PSA 10 graded by me, I will consume. We have a population of five. I got a little mold there, so we're going to go PSA. We're going nine on this gum. It was a nine pack. But we have a little brown speckle of mold there. But boy, corners are sharp. The appearance of the gum looks pretty good, but it will not be consumed, only tens, and I am the grader. Don't argue with the graders. 11, Fire Marshal Bill, Bobby Valentine. Oh, look at Bobby there. Saying, boy, maybe I should become a manager, and he did, and a damn good one. Bobby Valentine, Mets, outfielder. Played for like nine, a couple different teams. Phoenix Online. Now we're go go boring through, go go going through the 79. We did the 80 and 79. We are just starting up here. Number 12, Chris Harrington. 11 was Chris Harrington, Bobby Valentine. 10, 11, yep, no, we got 12. 12, Chris Harrington, you are up. Mike Gorman. Centering was a problem in seven. Oh, I thought that was Ryan. Oh, man. I saw Angel upside down. Like an upside down cake. It even looks like Nolan Ryan, but it's not. 13, Mike Rachich. You get Dave LaRoche. Dave LaRoche, a little top to bottom there. Tell you, 79s. Got to get the good centering. And it works out fantastic. Tristan Garber, you're up again. Ken Wrights. Two rights don't make a wrong, by the way, skinny guy. And again, look at that giant mustache. What the hell's going on with that? That mustache. Big porn mustache was going on in the early 70s. Took a while to go away. 15, Mikey McCoy, Cecil, Cecil Cooper. Cecil, he lives down here, I think, Cecil Cooper. I've seen him in some photos down here. 16. Tim Kaiser. Oh, there's that pirate. Not the one we want. Ed Ott, though. Ed Ott. Company, whoever signed him saved a lot of money on jerseys. Only three letters. Ed Ott. Could be a place kicker for the Steelers. Ed Ott. That's what he, he looks like a... Looks like a big yellow thing of French's mustard. Number 17, Chris Harrington. Mark Bellinger of the O's. Number 18, we have an extra card, I guess. Miguel Delone. We pulled him in the 80 pack. <laughs> Miguel. Miguel Delone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Extra card. I wish it was somebody good. I thought it was Raleigh Fingers or somebody, but it's John Henry Johnson. Extra cards. We randomize for free. We're going to roll the rain new once, and we get a two. Free card. Two on the rain new. Bonus card. Let's go two rain new. One, two. Timmy Kaiser, you get an extra card in this 79. Tim Kaiser roll. Over the weekend, ice Kaiser roll, a little provolone, salami, a little lettuce, oil and vinegar. Oh, it was like a heaven. Quarantine food, the best. Stay home and make your own stuff. Good stuff there. Okay. The mold seems to be altered. <laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> ah, that's great. 
great stuff. And it, real art, yeah, Mel art. The checklist was actually they put in the cellar. No, I don't think they did. No, nah, so cello, cello packs, uh, the 76, they had a bonus checklist that was free. And we give those out for free. But there we have it. Garbage pail up next. Thank you, everybody, for the Kaiser's roll. <laughs> yeah, hey, there you go. Absolutely. Garbage is coming up. And maybe another nasty Nick. There we go. 1985. I showed everybody in the pre-grade parade, pre-going off on the house grades from JustRipIt.com of Nasty Nick and Adam Bomb. And here we are again. The Wacky Packs of the 80s. Garbage Pail Kids. Thank you everybody for that 79. We have cellos and waxes up there. Looking for the Wizard of Oz. A lot of Hall of Famers in there. We had 18 shots. Actually 19. We'll try again. Sold a couple of garbage pails over the weekend. So I'm going to take a little time here and show everybody the serial number and the skew. Make sure it matches up. If you're just joining us, make sure it matches up with the card that you were, the pack you were looking for. This is, let me randomize and I'll go over it. Easier. Nine on the rando for these five people, five cards, five spats in the rando. Let's go nine rando style. One, two, three, four, five, six, Mantle seven, Yogi eight, and discount double check was a five and four. There's nine. Mark Delbridge, the first card. George Protopapis, the Contest Galater, Georgie. You get card, the last card in the pack. Number five. Let's put these names up. I'll go over the pack. I think we're opening up another one later as well. Here's the Fab Five. We got some Beatles packs up there. They're gonna be exciting there. A little Beatles action. Any Beatles fans out there? Great pack. Okay, here we are. We had two Adam Bombs Thursday. Oh, absolutely two. What a night Thursday was. Two bombs, correct. I don't know, we didn't show the other one. We just went through a pre real quick pre-grade break. There was much, some more greater pulls that night. Uh, two, we, checklists. Two, two checklists Adam bombs. I think we just showed one. And, were, and a regular Adam bomb. They're all, they're all in card savers in a safe spot heading off to the graders. Yeah, a Billy Blast also. It's been an unbelievable week of garbage, no pun intended, for the pails. But JustRipIt.com is opening up a 1985 Garbage Pail Kids. First series is all we do. We're looking into the second series in the future. Some cards there going up crazily in value. Uh, this is a PSA 8 near mint mint. Serial number 4408-6631. SKU NS0083 there for this Garbage Pail. What is the name of the tool you guys use to break open those graded pack cases? Oh, uh, the tool, huh? The Walt. Like Walt, like Walt Frazier. That is the Walt Frazier. This thing's actually getting a little dull. I gotta get another one. That's a good job. These the Walt tools. It's the Ripper Clipper. Look at him. He's like a raven going in for the kill. Speaking of that, let's kill open this pack right now. Unreal, Nicholas Unreal is an understatement. Here we are. You ain't seen nothing yet. Here we go. 85 Top Scarbers Kelly, okay, first ever black pack, serial number 4408-6631. Once again, that number was 4408-6631. Tin snips. Yes, sir. Oh, there we go. Garbage pail packs are always. Try this at home, you're on your own. <laughs> 85 in the books. Oh, not that bad. Okay, okay, all right, all right. These just nasty garbage pail kids usually give me a hard time. Not today. The Rippers win. First series. They made a lot of series. 
They're still making them today. We have them for the kids. You're in this pack, you want them, just give us an email at support. It's just ripping. We got a fresh box of 2019 garbage pail kids. Uh, ready to give away for your children or for yourself. You're still a kid. You're opening pack. We're opening packs. We're cons all considered kids. If you want one, just email us and let us know. We'll throw them in that big, beautiful blue envelope, which you should be getting tomorrow. Thank God the post office through rain, sleet, snow, and quarantines, they still deliver. Here we are. The only tool I use, but I do like me some Milwaukee. Milwaukee Brew Crew. Here we go. Mark Delbridge, you got the first card. Nasty Nick over, actually we got, had that update. I'll go over it again. Adam Bomb checklist over $5,000 in the 10. Nasty Nick, 4,000, but that was a couple of years ago. An Adam Bomb base is worth over three. Junkie Jeff, Evil Letty, Schizo Fran, Dead Ted checklist, Blasted Billy checklist, Blasted Billy regular, all trending over close to a thousand plus there as well. Electric Bill, Brutal Bat, and a lot of cards, dozens of cards worth over $500 in a 10. Let's get ready to rip. Mark Delbridge, we open it from the bottom and you get the top card. Garbage Pail. With a little small piece of gum, which is good, good and plenty. Ooh, a little white sugar there that kind of turned, and some lot of brown speckles. So I'll give this an SGC. Hmm, not that bad. We'll give it an eight. We'll give the gum an eight. SGC eight. I can't even write on it. Should have probably gave it a seven. Leaning great. Okay, here we go. Mark Delbridge, you're up. Card number one, permit to be a pig, is Damage Don 40B for Damage Don. Really nice centering there. Let me see the value in a 10. We give all 10s regardless of what they're worth. 265 in a 10. That looks really nice. That looks really good. A little bit of gum residue on the back. There's nothing we can do. They are 35 years old. You can see a little browning there. Sometimes that just falls off once it hits air for the first time. There's your card, Mark. Chris Pinelli, card two. Ooh, a J Decay. J Decay. 300, over $300 in a 10. One of my favorite cards, why? Because it says rip, rest in peace in the background. That looks pretty, these garbage pail kits, I know why they're selling. They come out really nice. They're pack fresh, uncirculated and touched by me, but that is a zombie coming out with a full moon card, 5B, last sale, $325. Last month, Chris, last month in a 10. I like it. I like it. Number three, Julian Patton Jr. You get Brainy Janie, 27A. Brainy Janie. $300 in a 10. That looks a little off center, left to right. I'm very critical. I know we're watching it on phones, tablets, and TVs, 60 inch TVs. It's a girl with a giant brain, that old desktop computer. And on the back is a right to be nasty license. That's what made these cards so bad in the 80s because kids actually thought they could be nasty. They, got, they signed that in the back. Here's your card, Julian. Number four, Matthew Shoemaker. Any relation to the jockey would be fantastic. This is 34A. 34A, Kim Kong. 34A, $260 in a 10. You can see a little left to right. They actually grade the centering of the sticker as well. Kim Kong, not the, not the dictator over in Korea or the one Robin went to go see? Kim Kong. It's a monkey with a banana. Well, that banana looks good. All I think about is food lately. And every time I eat, I gotta can consider running out of food. George Protopapis. <laughs> Welcome to Just Rip It. You get a heathen Steven. That was me after eating all that food over the weekend. Card 3B. Oh, this looks kind of, wow, that looks like $480 in a 10. 
480 for Heathen Steven last July. Three bait. It's a baby in a diaper. He's just hurling. I don't even know what. That is nasty, is right. That should be like a nasty Heathen Steven. An allergy prescription. Oh boy. Now, maybe that could be a little crazy. Nice card there, George, for you. We will check all these garbage pails. Does look nice, Chris. Your card did look nice. J Decay. First couple came right out really nicely centered. There's your J D K. Mullet in your picture. See? <laughs> Kim Jong. Yeah, there it is. Not Kim. Kim Jong is the leader. It's Kim Kong. Close enough. Who'd ever think back in the day? There is our first garbage pail. I think we're gonna open up a later one. Another one later in the night. But there they are. Damage Don, J Decay, Brainy Janie, Kim Kong, Kim Kong, and even Steven. We'll check any of those for grading purposes. From Just Rip It, we'll grade anything that looks good on the house because we love tens, like Bo Derek. Gave one of her packs out last week. Bo Derek was a 10. And those of you who remember that movie was phenomenal. Okay. I believe we have another garbage pail coming up now is a 78, then we have a certified box, and then we have a beautiful purple pack, we call it here, 72 Tops Basketball, looking for Dr. J, pulling some basketball greatness here at Just Rip It. After that 72, we go right 14 years later, 86, where we're looking for, go check our clips. We have more, pulled more Jordans here than a Nike store selling Air Jordans. A lot of Jordans here that just ripped it. And then Ness Nathan, right after that, we got, I believe, your Star Wars pack. May the force be with everybody here at JustRipIt.com. Time for a sip. Ah, little Monday Night Happy Hour. A couple things I missed during this quarantine it was like, Sir, what can I get you? Or would you like to open up and keep a tab going? They, uh, these are things I miss. I miss these things. They walk in, can I get you? What would you like? Would you like to keep your tab open? Yes, keep your tab open. Yes, please. Oh, it's been a while. But here we're here to entertain, educate, and give everybody a little break from these long days that you're going to tell your kids, your grandkids about. Uh, truly unprecedented times. I believe as we stay quarantined, we'll consolidate it, get the cure, and we're gonna be like caged animals running out of the zoo. Imagine letting the whole the zoo cages open. We're gonna run out like 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 crazy lions. Crazy. Speaking of crazy, maybe it's time for me. I wish you could just shut your big shit. Okay, let's get some more ripping here. More ripping and sipping. Thank you, everybody, for that garbage pill, I believe. Yes, we do have another one coming up. If you weren't in that one, that was not your pack, but it is coming up, another one. Garbage pail mania. Great value in those cards. And we're going right to 1978. We did 80, 79, and now 78. We are descending to the Eddie Murray rookie year. 78 tops, wax pack. 14 in here. And let's get it. Pre-randomization. Am I missing anything? How do I get on? How do you get on this? Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. First, you got to think, I'm looking for some good stuff. You go to JustRipIt.com. We have equity packs where you get a share. We have cards and packs that you get the card. Some people think they're getting the whole pack. I mean, it's really... The, the baseball collecting crowd out there is a little, little loopy. You get a card and a graded pack. We have packs and box breaks that we have. We have a rip random where you get anything from packs, racks, solitaire box. We have an autograph helmet. Rip random's way at the bottom. Check that out. That's been doing well. Uh, that's how you get on it. Make sure you register as a customer, not as a guest, so we can give you points. We have a rewards program. We usually have a wheel. Uh, we had so many packs to open. Uh, we didn't do a wheel, we did a jackpot tonight, but you get points through the wheel. We give out graded cards sometimes during the show. A lot of stuff. So follow us on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook. Give us a thumbs up, share the videos. We like thumbs up. We're hitting over 20, 30 uh, uh, shared video likes on YouTube, and it, it, it helps 
everybody out here and at home, it's really some good quality stuff. Jeremy Baker, the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker in the house. There we are. Let's randomize this 78 beautiful PSA graded, unsearched, and sealed. Hashtag Gus pack 10 times. Let's go 10. Rondu 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, mantle seven, yogi eight, nine, discount double check was a 10, there is 10, it says it right there at the bottom also, 10 times, Joshua Morton, top card, Mike Rachich, Rachich, Rachich. the last card in this pack, if there's extras we give out free, if you're short, you do get a refund, points, or we'll put you in the same pack, whatever you want, customer is always righteous. Hashtag Gus, we gotta get that. Team, we gotta get the hashtag Gus. We have to get it. Gus, Gus Levnovich, Gus Williams. 24 spots. There we are. We have 24 spats in our jackpot. There's nothing really to show. If you spend, buy any equity share, buy a share in our beautiful equity packs, we're working on some more. It takes a while to go through these. A lot of information. We got some beauties and we got some great ones up there. I showed them earlier and they're already put back in the safe. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> buy an equity share like this 61 flare. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's down to 12. I can't wait to open up this beautiful, wow. graded, unsearched, and sealed pack. 61 flares stacked with great cards. Only 66 cards. Go read the whole story. Even if you're not in it, learn about the pack. It's beautiful. Uh, also, we made some notations. There are 23 cards in this 71 football seller pack. It's an equity pack. You get a piece of the whole pack. Almost like an investing in a stock. You get an equity share. 23 cards though. Cello. We had to make that clear. They don't put it on the label. Tops didn't do it. There's 23 thick slam and jam of cards there. And not to outdo yourself, we also have in our equity model a 70 tops football. It is a second series. You know how many cards are in this? 12? 12 was the norm for cello packs. 33. Pair of threes. 33 cards, look at it. Thick as a, almost like a deck of cards. 33 chances to pull Namath and a bunch of Hall of Famers in a 10. Beautiful equity packs, they are up there. Buy an equity uh, share tonight, you get three spots in our jackpot. If you buy a premium randomized, which is 150 or more, it's premium, 150 or more. High end, rare, high valued packs. Even nines and eights are worth some money in those packs. You get two spots, 150 anywhere else, box breaks, randomized cards, whatever, you get one spot. We have 24 entries in the jackpot. What are we giving away? Look up top, first prize gets an equity share of your choice. Anything you want, you get one share and one of those magnificent packs free from Just Rip It. Second prize, you will get a randomized card of your choice. Any randomized card you like, you get for free. When it's ready to, when it sells out, we email you, we rip it open, you got a free card. Third prize, we'll get a Bowman 96, 24 years old. Why are we giving this out for free? A, there's six Chromium cards in there. B, Kobe Bryant's rookie year, that could be worth a lot of money and is a refractor or atomic refractor, but you get the whole pack. Not a card in this pack. Here is where you get the whole pack. There you are. Spins, not tonight, Chris, we're doing so much ripping. That wheel is up there, could be recharged tomorrow night. And that's it, 24 in our jackpot. We will add if need be, but let's get ready to rip right now. Coming up next is Certified Box. JustRipIt.com is about to open up a Gus, graded, unsearched, and sealed, 1978 Tops Baseball Wax Pack, PSA graded, near mint seven, serial number 44040897. Here we go. I'll go over it after I get it out with my DeWolf. That, he's getting kind of nasty because he hasn't brushed his teeth here in a while. Time for another DeWolf. Open up a lot of graded packs. This DeWolf. Oh. 
Oh, the Ripper always wins. 78 Tops Baseball Wax Pack, rest in peace. If you have the this this feeling you want to open up a graded unsearched to sell pack, just be very careful. We do not acknowledge doing this. It's tough. Some people actually ruin the packs. It's crazy. But I work out every day. I squeeze that. I can rip a telephone book in half. 78. What are we looking for in the 78? Eddie, not Eddie Munster, Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray over 17,000 in a 10. Also, Nolan Ryan with any, any card in the 70s, even in the 80s. Nolan Ryan, and we pulled a bunch of Nolan Ryans, a lot. Frank Alloway, the quarantine got me back into collecting cards. Didn't realize how good. I know, Frank, I hear you. A woo to you. Now's your chance to go through any cards. Yeah, I've had a customer one day said he found a, an 86 Jordan base card in his in his shoebox. And I'm like, hey, go get it graded. It's worth some big money. Now's your chance to do it. Get back into card collecting. If you got kids, it's great. We're giving out free packs for the kids. Let us know what you're looking for. What is everyone drinking tonight? Oh, there you go, Mikey. Yeah, hell yeah. Finally, that's that. Now we're finally... Johnny Walker Black. It's blue, it's black, it's black and blue, but tonight it's black. Ah, a couple of cubes, it's 94 degrees today in Florida, so we, I don't water down the blue, I water down the black and the, even the red with some ice cubes, it's good. Back to the pack. Nolan Ryan over 15,000, Paul Molitor 12,000, Brett Reggie Jackson over 3,000 in a 10. Mick the Quick, Mickey Rivers, remember him? Rod Carew, Rick Burleson, Willie McCovey, who played like 30 years, and Jack Morris, all over a thousand and a ten. Uh, Dave Parker, Pirate Great, Lou Whitaker, Yaz, Munson, Murphy, Rice, all over six hundred dollars in a ten. I'm looking at the pricing. Eddie Murray, sixteen eight this year. Ryan, fourteen. Molitor, eleven. All, all our prices are pretty much there. Willie McCovey's up to five thousand dollars. Whoa. I got a thousand plus. You pull Willie McCovey in a 10, five G's. Wow, that's nice. George Brett, 3,600. Reggie, three. Stan Bonson. Stan Bonson, $1,400 in a 10. You pull a Stan Bonson, you're, you're happy. Rivers, uh, Burleson, over a thousand. Carew, Rance Molnix, <laughs> $800 in a 10. Let's go. That's enough. A lot of other guys worth north of 500. Jim Rice, 850 last check. And believe me, if I'm quoting a price from two years ago, factor in inflation, and people out there that just want to build up their card collection. Vodka and Bush. That George W. or regular uh, Bush? Wow. Ran do the DeWalt. Ran <laughs> the DeWalt. <laughs> This thing weighs like about five pounds. You can curl this thing. I have to be doing shoulder presses with this DeWalt. This is one heck. Ooh, too close to the ear. It's a heavy thing. Samuel Adams, Boston beers, and a screwball peanut butter whiskey. Mark Yelly. Woo, wow. Keep filling them up. Joshua Grettenberg, did you get my entry JP for my purchase tonight? We get all purchases. Everything's automated here. We got everything. We don't miss a beat. We can open up a million packs and we will. Because I ain't stopping till every pack on this planet's been ripped open. There's value in these packs, not in those cases. I'm trying to get them out to you. That's for sure. No vodka and Red Bull drinks. The Bush beer on the side. Oh, there you go, Chris Askew. Jo top card, Joshua Martin. We open it from the bottom. Send in a couple wrappers, you get a sport card locker. Cool stuff. 1978. 42 years ago. Wow. 42 years ago. Wow, the gum didn't even attach. A little bit, little gum residue on a car. Ooh. Lee, we are the champions. A woo to you. Welcome there, Lee. Welcome. We've been going strong for over an hour already. Six plus on Thursday. The Iron Ripper got... I was almost in the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, we got some nasty indentation. Another one there. Gonna really butcher up this SGC5 for this gum. Anything rated 10, I will chew without chipping a tooth. But we mark all the gum on our packs. And this is a 78 coming at you. Here we go. Card one. Joshua Martin, you're up. You get 
Wayne Nordhagen. Wow, he pulled Nordhagen before. There's Wayne again. We're getting oh, nice Nordhagen. We are all drunks. We have to drink. We we we, we have to. What you want? Essential food, drug stores, and liquor stores. Ah, oh. PJ sauce, a Crown Royale with cheese. I'm getting some Crown Royale. I need some. I need some Canadian Club and Crown Royale. Old school packs. Let's go back to the seven and seven. Let's go back to the old school drinks. Nothing wrong with them. We don't want to drink with what, what the kids are drinking. Now they don't. Know. They're drinking Tito's. They don't. They don't know. They don't know what whiskey is. And Tito, Tito. The only Tito we know here is Tito Santana, and that's about it. Two. Chris Harrington. Rich Childs or Chili's. Twins. Focused in there at the plate. Nice black background. I like that. Walgreens, yeah. Walgreens is an essential meat. I go there every day looking for their packs. And Razzles, of course. Oh, I hope that national doesn't cancel out. I hope it doesn't cancel. We got some style and a profile on there. Number three. Joe Wackham. Ooh, a nice Padre team card. It looks nicely centered, which is rare for any team card. There's all those jamokes all just sitting there with their cleats and everything. And on the back is a nice checklist. Not a big Padre fan. San Diego in Padre. Four, Joshua Morton. Brewers, Jamie Quirk. Rings a bell, Brew Crew, Jamie Quirk. Quirky. Whack. Five, Joshua Morton, JM. Jim Todd. Guy was so confused, he has a first and last name that are both first. Look at that handlebar mustache. 250 in the 10. Two, six years ago. 250 in the 10. Six years ago. Ooh. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty. Oh, five there, pretty, Joshua. Pretty good. Now, we're not a big fan of Jim Todd. But if there's some value there and it looks like a 10, we'll look at the 10, what it looks like. You just never know if we graded Jim Todd on the house. Richard Todd was the Jet quarterback. Jim Todd. Two. Six, Mark Rachich. Jim Oaks. <laughs> yeah, the Jim Oaks. Yeah, you like <laughs> Number six, Mike Rachich. Doug Raider. Radar. Ratter. Whatever you want. Blue Jays. 100 bucks four years ago. 100 bucks four years ago in the 10. Don't underestimate the power of these cards. 78, really going up in value. Number seven, Daniel Cramlett. That deserves a vote. Daniel Cramlett, you get Ed Halicki. Wow, we, we did 79, 80, 79, 78. We're getting some, what the hell is he doing with the ball? He's all deformed, that ball. I think it's like a cutter coming. Nice photo bomb by a second baseman in the back there. Giants. Man, do I miss baseball. Oh, boy. Joshua Martin, card eight. Hey, there's Rusty. Where's Rusty Ward? There's Rusty Staub. Wearing like that hefty bag. Probably trying to lose a couple pounds. That is nicely centered, Rusty Staub. Look at that career. Wow. Colt 49s. Astros, Expos, of course, the Mets and the Tiggers. Detroit Tigers, card 370. Rusty. We all remember Rusty Staub. I don't know why. Just remember Rusty Staub. Not too many Rusties around. What do you say there? The post. Post Malone. <laughs> Let's drink and rip. It's all about ripping and sipping. Halicki is slanging it. Yeah, the ball was like way back there. I don't remember the Rusty. Card eight. Joshua Martin. Number nine, Chris Harrington. Terry Whitfield. He doesn't look too happy there, Terry. Probably on a trading block at the time. Who knows? Forty nine. <laughs> the Grand Orange. Number ten. Fire Marshal Bill. Where is Fire Marshal Ralph Gar? I'll go for a cigar. It's the best I can do with Ralph Gar. Cigar. Number 11, Michael King. 
Bob Boone. A lot of Boones in the uh, Major League Baseball. Of course, we know Aaron Boone. Bob, uh, Bob Boone. NCJ Sports Cards. A big woo to you. How are you doing, my friend? Quarantine is just keeping us locked up. Doing fantastic. Rusty Coots. <laughs> Christopher Peterson. Hey, give him a little, if you're there, don't be shy. Just type a little message. Say something. If you know the play, you recognize something. What were, who you were dating in 78? Let us know. We're all here. We're all here. Ripping and sipping. Number 12, Joshua Martin. Rennie Stennett. Look at Rennie there. This pirate pinstripes. 1978. Rennie Stennett. Yeah, we'll be a little off center left to right. A lot of these cards, uh, bad cuts on on the on the tops front. But what's he worth in the ten? Four fifty five in a ten uh, for Rennie, but that's off centered. So, but that just goes to show you if you do get him. I'm seeing the pack getting a little bad here near the end. Number thirteen, Joshua Martin, Chuck Scribner. That is really butchered top to bottom. Corey Ramsey, a woo to you. Welcome to Just Ripping. A very hello to you. There we are. All right. Ralph is a pirate. Arg. It's usually arg, not gar. It's arg. Doers White Label was always my go. You know what? Doers is making a comeback. I bought a Doers 18-year-old. If anything's 18 or 21, whether it's Doers or Ship, Ship is 18, spot on. It's about 80 bucks for the bottle. I tell you, do a taste test. You can't tell the difference. Mike Rachich, Frank Tanana, Frank Tanana, Alex Well Center, Frank Tanana, last card. There's the backs, card 600 with the Angels over there pitching with Nolan Ryan. It was Ryan and Tanana, Tanana the banana. There's our 78. We'll put another one up. If the Hall of Famers weren't in here, you know they're coming up shortly. They just come in a cycle. There we are, 78, done and in the books. We're working on maybe a podcast called Rip It and Sipping, where we just drink. I mean, don't even open anything. Just we rip people, we rip packs, we rip graders, and we sip. We're thinking about it. Always thinking here is just ripit.com. James Bumble. Hey, you were dating Farrah Fawcett. I had the pin up in my room. One of Charlie's Angels. I got a Charlie's Angels pack, and you know what? Let me see here. I thought I got a Charlie's Angels here or something. There you have it. You know, we talked about Farrah Fawcett. I had a pinup. When we open up this 72 basketball, our next pack, I'm giving out a Charlie's Angels pack. The one lucky brand new in there. Charlie's Angels, Rippers and Strip. Uh, not st uh, st uh, Street. Uh, stickers. Rippers and Stickers. There we go. Charlie's Angels giving out the one free customer on our on deck pack, the 72, because you guys have been waiting since last Thursday. Charlie's Angels, which by the way, that's a pretty valuable pack. They're worth some money. Uh, Farrah Fawcett, uh, Jacqueline Smith, and somebody help me here. Uh, there was like Charlie's Angels, and one left, and one came in, and they made the show, and then they tried to do the that's it. I wish you could just shut your big head. That's it. I ain't here to talk about Charlie's Angels, but Farrah Fawcett, she was hot. Her and Bo Derrick, absolutely phenomenal. David Bullvan. Hey, woo. Hey, David. The Bulls in the house. David Bullvan. <laughs> I'm going to get you one of these. Don't be sorry. I'm going to find another one of these. I bought that in the city one day off of Wall Street. J Kate Jackson. Yeah, Kate Jackson. Jacqueline Smith, I think. Uh, Jeremy Voss. Oh boy, Jeremy Voss. I think I don't know if you were joking or not, but we pulled a Voss, and you said you were related to him. That's true. I always wanted to ask you. I forgot to email you. Cheryl Ladd. There you go. Oh wow, this is fun stuff. Cheryl Ladd. Charlie's Angels. What a show. Remember Charlie? Remember we never saw him. We only heard his voice. All right. Thank you for that seventy-eight. Where's my mouse? There we go. Let's clear the board. Let's get ready for a little Zion action here. I wanted the Pelicans to hit the eighth seed to play the Lakers. That would have been a nice 
nice series to open up with. Please open up the sports. They can't even get... We want NBA to start? They can't even get an organized horse game together. You're hearing about that. You're hearing about the horse... Not that horse, you know, where they shoot H-O-R-S-A, but they're trying to do that in the NBA. I tell you, I'm not impressed. I'm not going to watch a bunch of guys shooting shots. I mean, it's just, unless they go, remember the old Bird Jordan commercial from 78 where they were hitting the ball off of buildings? That was a good game of horse. That was fun. YouTube that Bird Jordan McDonald's commercial, I think it was. Commercial of the decade. All right, enough of yapping here. Bird and Jordan were shooting balls off the backboards, off the arena, and then they went to a building. At that, it's a long story. Twenty nineteen, five cards per pack, ten packs, box, two pack, two pack for sure, ten packs per box. Let's get this ran, dude. 10 on the Randu, that's a six and a four. Let's go 10 on the Randu. One, two, three, four, fiver, six, mantle seven, Yogi eight, nine, discount double check was a 10 and there's 10. First pack, Christopher Dunley. Last pack out of the box, K Lofton. Boy, we pulled a nice, James Lofton out of the Presidential Solitaire 101 for John Sharisky with the NFL logo patch. That was just beautiful. John, I hope I think that was your card. And the NFL logo, it had his whole the whole patch of the jersey on the back. Phenomenal. President Solitaire. That is in our rip random, by the way, and we listed another one. All one of one cards in there. Not one of my dad's my Dad named Bill Vosso, I would collect, oh, okay, there we go. Nothing but net, yeah, that Joseph remembers. Jordan off the buildings, the skyscrapers through the door, nothing but net, Joseph remembers. Another woo to you, wow, that's fantastic. He's betting on Russian pink, no, they're, they're betting on like, uh, some type of Belgium cricket or something. FanDuel, DraftKings, they're dying right now, it's horrible. It is horrible. Two packs, yeah. We should have a two pack. I gotta find a two pack to short card. Okay, uh, certified, certified, and it's certified by Panini. There's two autographs looking for key rookies. Of course, Zion, Ja Morant, and RJ Barrick. There's freshman fabric autos and rookie gold autos worth over 2,000. Uh, Hashimura, Reddish, Hunter, Culver, a couple other rookies in here, but we're looking for Zion, Barrett, Hashimura and uh, Sion, of course. So let's get this box open. Razor Ramon, look at that, ready? So nice. Oh, what a nice clean, didn't even, didn't even cut the box. Should be a surgeon. All right, let's go through this. There's 10 packs, not like two pack. Or a six pack, if you're having a good fun out there. If you know what I'm talking about. Don't say beer, say bush. If you order a beer, say light, Miller Light. Got a third less filling than your regular beer. Light beer for Miller. Joe Frazier, speaking. What you want? Hope some people got some nice mugs in their blue boxes. Okay, here we go, pack number one. Been a couple of weeks since I could join live. Are we still waiting on a 93? Yeah, yes. Oh yeah, that's still being graded. Be patient with all the grading companies. PSA still remains closed. SGC is still accepting cards via mail, so now we gotta mail them there. Uh, be a little patient with the grades during this time. It's one thing we cannot control. Here it just rip it. Number one, Christopher Nunnally. Let's get going. It is eight o'clock and 90 minutes into ripping. We got some beauties coming up next. The show just builds momentum from there. Christopher Nunnally, here we go. Powell. We got a blue there of Pas Pascal. 
gold team. Joker. Carl Anthony Towns. I heard his mom passed away from the COVID. I saw that on ESPN. Sad news there. And Tyler Hero. But yeah, a little uh, rest in peace. Carl Anthony Towns, his mom passed away from the COVID. Uh, not good news. Pack one, Christopher Nunley. There you go. Number two, Christopher, you are up next. Six hours and 30 minutes to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got some beauties coming up. 72 basketball. Jordan 86 basketball. Then we got this beautiful pack coming up. Star Wars. Oh, more garbage coming up after the Star Wars. And just more over there. Let's keep ripping. It's only Monday. We had a lightning round Thursday that went into Good Friday, which became a great Friday. Christopher Nunley, pack number two. Two autographs. We got Jalen Brown. Beautiful cards, by the way. Murray. Lou Williams, red. Clippers. Matisse. Thibel. 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 Thibel and Alan Crab. Alan Buster Crab. All right, eight packs, two autos. So it's heating up. When they come out early, if you're in it late, you're mad. And they come out late and you're still in it, it's all fascinating. 32 spots in our jackpot. Buy an equity share, three spots in our jackpot. Buy a premium randomized card, which is 150 or more in our beautiful limited rare premium randomized. You get two spots in the jackpot. Spend 150 anywhere else, you get one spot. Nothing to show you. First spot, first place, equity share of your choice. Equ any equity you want up there, including, and not to be, oh, you, you win that jackpot tonight, you get a free share in this. It's five cents, so... You basically will cut a penny in half. Just kidding. There's some six-figure cards in the 61 Fleer. Second prize gets you a one free randomized card of your choice. Whether it be the Beatles, let it be. Help, I need somebody help. Uh, 70 Cello, some nice randomized cards up there. Uh, third place gets you a the whole pack, a 96 Bowman Best basketball card featuring... Hopefully pulling a Kobe Bryant atomic refractor out of there. That's what you want to get. You get the whole pack six cards. We will add to the jackpot as it builds. We have 32 people already with a lot more ripping to do. Sleeve that thigh bolt. Oh, I got to listen to my friend Corey there. Oh, you want me to sleeve thigh bolt? Oh, yeah, I'm not, yeah. He will be sleeved. We'll check a little Thibault. Matisse Thibault. Hey, customers want things sleeved for other people? My wish is your command. There you are. Number two, Christopher Nunnally. We sleeved and carded per Corey Ramsey's request. Thibault. Okay, just got six entries. We'll check that Phoenix there online. Shane, a woo to you. We will check. That is correct. You're in. Three, Kurt Aller. A woo to you, my friend. Welcome to Just Trip. I love the new names. I love it. Love the new names. He is a beast. Yeah, I, I need the NBA to start. I feel like I don't even know who plays anymore. You, you fall out of the loop. Again, it's free to watch. It's free to chat. It's free to participate. Get in on the action. If you're in a pack, it's even more exciting. It's an adrenaline rush uh, when you were 10 years old to play in the Powerball. Number three, Kurt Aller. Who do we have here for you? Leonard. Great. Oh, we got Orange. Oh, we pulled a Zion in this guy. Ja Morant Orange. Oh, man. Oh, can I sound a horn there? Kurt Aller. That's Ja Morant. J.A. Morant. Oh, wow. 97 of 99. I tell you, it's all about Zion, but this kid here is red hot. Oh, he's red hot. There he is. Oh, sleep the Post Malone. 
That is money right there. Kurt Aller, welcome to Just Rip It. Pack Fresh, Jean Morant, Tangerine Orange. Wow. We pulled a Zion in orange. That was worth over six, seven hundred. Ungraded, I believe. Fantastic. Kids, good. We're grading that for you, Kurt, out there in Kurtland. Kurt Rambis. 350. 350 and a 10. Not a bad card at all. Give this kid a chance because it's his rookie card. Wow. Love it, love it. And you had Leonard to start. Let's finish out the rest of the pack. Raise the banner. Robert Ori. I remember him with the Lakers 2001. Kevin Porter Jr. and Smalad Shagadelic. Shagadelic. Snalajitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitjitj
We have a blank back car. Look at that beauty, huh? Nothing on the front, nothing on the back. I grade that a 10. That is beautiful. We have a blue rookie, Jackson Hayes. That's J-A-X-S-O-N. Raise the banner. World champion Kyle Lowry. The guy that keeps getting drawing fouls. And Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram. I don't, you know, they, I don't know why they put they put that in there for a reason. I, I don't, maybe I don't know. I don't get it. Seven. Paul Mandeville. And no auto yet. Seven. Mandeville. Dwayne Bacon and Eggs. Oh, I can go for some bacon and eggs right now. We got a red rookie. Who we got here? Oh, it's the Bulls. Otis Otto Porter Jr. The Bulls. Oh, we have auto. Here we go. Oh, it's an auto patch. Freshman fabric, too, of the Knicks. Not Barrett. Ignis Brzezikius. <laughs> Anything with the pricing on it, it, it. Ignis Brasdikius. FFIB, his initials. Well, let's get this into a card saver right away. It's a freshman fabric. Boy, you get the freshman fabric and, and any great rookie over $2,000. There's our freshman fabric order. You still got to put this away. You just don't know. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Pack weighing issues. Yeah, I know. That's why they put those in there. We'll check that. Oh, and there's his base card. Ignis Brazak. Where they put both in the same in there. And Al Horford. We'll check the Ignatius. Freshman fabric. Never discount anybody in their rookie year in the NBA. Not so many guys that even make the team. The only... 14, 15 guys to a team at that. But congrats, number seven, Mandeville. You get a freshman fabric of a Nick right there. Order one. Still two, or another order remains. Let's keep it going. Number eight, Thomas Cerrito. Watching on delay, Rusty Stop. <laughs> Not too many Rusties at all. I think that's the only rusty, rusty stop. And think of every era of sports, there's only one rusty. They're <laughs> watching on delay. I was looking for you, Rusty. You need to pull a rusty stop. That would be historic. Thomas Cerrito, Patrick Beverly, Przingis, Blue, Blue Kyle Lowry, Gold Team Brandon Beal. And Will Barton. It's like this is the closest you can get to play the NBA right now. Watching NBA is right here. Pulling cards out. Making believe you're watching them on TV. All right. One order remains. Is it Paul Patron or K A. Lofton? Steven Stiffmeister. The Stiffler man. What's up there, my man? Tim Knight. Good afternoon, guys. Hope everybody's safe out there. I'm a first-time buyer. A woo to you, and it's not good afternoon, it's have a sip and enjoy bourbon scotch or beer, or maybe a Zion here. Here we go. Welcome there, Tim Knight. Join in the Rip It community. We are a big, happy family here, making card collecting great again, fun again, exciting again. Willie Coley Stein, okay? Stein. Pelican, uh, not the Pelican we want. Drew Holiday, that's J-R-U-E. Drew Holiday. Oh, we have Ordo here, number nine. Paul Patron Tequila. Ooh. Fabric of the game. Lou Williams, that's a fabric. That is number two, 46 out of 99. Lou Williams. Not a bad card there at all for you, Paul Patron. 
these rookies in the NBA, I know the Zion, these other guys come right out of the gate strong and Ja Morant, but some of these other rookies put these guys away and root them on. L.A. Clipper, right here, Lou Williams, 46 of 99. Stifler, love it. <laughs> Stifler. And what else we got here? P.J. Washington and Dante Exum. Exum. Okay, there's our two autos. There could be three. We never discount anything. You are the JRI hype man. You are getting, you are like the trademark man. You are a big part of this community. Mr. McCoy, we salute you. Oh, button cuts out. And closing out the box, number 10. The Stiffmeister. Stifflers, Stifflers. 10, K. Lofton, here we go. Derek White, Siakam, Tyler Johnson, Blue, Ty Jerome. Cool, nice, cool card there. I like that. I like that whole style about that card. Phoenix Suns, card 28. And Kyrie Irving with Durant next year on the Brooklyn Nets. Look out. At least we got something to look forward to next year, but we got to get this year over with first and crown a champion. Will LeBron get another one? Will the Clippers interfere? We just don't know. Will Giannis get one? We have a Giannis box up there. Get in that box now before that guy wins a title. Panini certified in the books. Some nice cards, including that. Where was it? It was in pack three for Kurt Aller. Got to show it again. Ja Morant Orange, numbered out of 99, 97 out of 99 Orange, beautiful card there of that Phenon rookie, Ja Morant. Certified 2019 in the books, and now we go to Charlie's Angels pack right here. It's coming up. Oh, yes, you just joined us. Station, a woo to you, our chairwoman of Independence for Veterans. We're getting another charity pack. We have a couple we're working on. Stay tuned. Where a portion of all net proceeds from our charity packs go to help the veterans that are out there. I'll work on that one tomorrow. We'll put something up there nice. We usually discount it. And we discounted the discounted one last week. And that worked out really well for some people. Getting some nice cards and contrib contributing to a nice cause. Here we are, this sold out last week on our Thursday, Good Friday, Great Thursday, Great Friday night, 72, Tops Basketball. We weren't gonna rush this pack, and when I go over some of the players, you're gonna go, now I know why. He did not rush it. Here we go. The Iron Ripper, yeah, I'm still recovering from that Thursday, but the Iron Horse, the Iron Ripper is here. Three left in the glass basketball. Mikey McCoy. Oh, the glass box. That is a cool box. That's going to be fun. That'll go. That'll go. Anything less than five goes very fast. Okay. 72. PSA graded near mint mint eight wax pack basketball. Wow. 87 Fleer, we got all the basketball. Tim, go check out our 1970 last week. We pulled a, a, a Lou Al Cinder pack fresh. What a great, great, great pack that was. We pulled a George Gervin's rookie card. Go check out our Rip Clip, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you get all the entire show where you can control it yourself or some of our famous Rip Clip pulls that we did during the evening. We can't do them all, so if we didn't make the cut, just go watch the show and watch your pack. Lou, oh, sweet Lou Alcinder. We showed him in our pre-grade parade. 72 Tops Basketball, let's randomize these 10 people six times. Let's go six, Randu, six. One, two, three, four, five. Discount, double check. Six, top card, Anthony Verdicchio and Fire Marshal, the last card in this wax pack. Let's load it up. And I'll go over the education on this year and sport and pack. In un momento. 
I don't like this scruff going on. It's just... People are barking through left. Mikey McCoy was gracious enough to put that on there. This is what he was talking about. The 2003 Ford oh. Upper Deck Glass Box. It's a thick box. It is heavy. I don't know if there's real actual glass in here or not, but this is something really nice here. Uh, it's always a good chance in between pack rips to go over. We're not pushing anything, uh, but the glass rookie autograph memorabilia and auto combo jersey is worth $1,000 to $15,000. There's only three packs left. That is a skinny, handsome LeBron rookie year. There's eight packs per mini. 24 packs, five cards per pack. LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, and Bosch. There's one glass rookie per box and one glass card and one memorabilia per mini box. Also look for Kobe and Michael. Why not? Why not in this glass box? That is very nice. I tell you, I'm guessing about four to five pounds. There could be some glass in here if I'm not mistaken. Here. All starts with one pack, one card in a pack, one pull is all it takes. That glass box is beautiful. Little LeBron with some attitude. And there it is. And there's the. Good luck trying to read all that. Wow, it's like a novel on the box. There we go. Okay. We did. We randomized our 72. Here we go. Glass is gone. The glass is gone. The glass. The, no, it's gone. The glass is scotch. Johnny Walker Black on the rocks tonight. Boy, it, it, it's gone. Tomorrow night's business. Oh, that's going to be a fun one. 24 packs. Got to chalk up for that one. But right now, need we not be this made done? Three spats. <laughs> yeah, it's gone, Mikey. It's gone. Shane. Gone, gone, gone. Who do you love? A nice LeBron glass. May he be in there. I'm pulling for everybody. Literally and systematically pulling for everybody. Okay. Back to the 72. I'm yapping too much here. 72 tops basketball. There is one Julius Irving 10. We pulled one before. It wasn't a 10. There is one 10. There's no pricing on it. The guy pulled it, got it graded, and probably kept it. I don't know who, what, when, where, or why. Why he didn't grade it? Why, I mean, why he didn't sell it? I don't know. Third base. It's just some one of those things. We'll never know the price. I'm estimating about 25000 Outside of that, in this 72, beautiful purple pack, Walt Frazier worth over $5,000 in a 10. That was four years ago, ladies and gentlemen. That's got to have to be a little bit higher by now. Phil Jackson's worth over $4,000, three $4,000 as well. Will Chamberlain, the one card, $3,000 last month. That is phenomenal. Uh, there's also a Julius Irving All-Star. That's not as worth as much as his base card with the Squires, but that's worth three to four thousand as well as Pete Maravich. And again, Will Chamberlain, Jabbar, Gilm, Artis Gilmore, Jerry West, Pat Riley, all won the two thousand. A Julius Irving nine SGC or PSA averages three to four thousand. It's all about the doctor. Outside of that, Oscar Robertson, Willis Reed, Rick Barry, George McGinnis, Elvin Hayes, Dan Hissel, and Nate Archibald possibly uh, that are in this series uh, in this pack and the whole set because the whole set's only 264 cards one series uh the subsets were playoffs 154 to 159 stat leaders 171 to 176 aba playoff cards which are very rare 241 to 247 and statistical stat leaders statistical command a premium 51 Hall of Famers in this 72 basketball wax pack. 50, 51 Hall of Fame cards, 264 in a set. Here we are. Phoenix Online, you are the best. You are there. The Texan PSA 10 could be worth 3000 today. That's why we're cross-grading it. Free here at Just Ripping. At the end of that, this pack, I will give away to one lucky winner, a Charlie's Angel wax pack. 
world be free. Free. 42 spots in our jackpot where one lucky winner will win an equity share of his choice. Second prize, a randomized card of his choice. Third prize, a Bowman Best. Keep it going. We will add more to that here at Just Rip It. 50 spots. Whoa, 50 spots. We'll, if we get, we got 42. If we get 50, we'll add a fourth prize and more prizes. We just like to give stuff away. Okay. On deck, 86 Fleer and then Star Wars. I talked about this pack too much. We've been waiting too long. Here we go. JustRipIt.com is about to open up a 1972 Topps Basketball Wax Pack. PSA Near Mint Mint 8. Serial number 20592426. Once again, that number is... I picked it up off of infomercials. 20592426. And yes, Stephen, cards that we give prices on from four years ago, things have changed. Like that guy that sold the Jeter for 80 and now it's somebody paid 140 and then 180. He's a hater. He's like, why did I sell it? Why? I don't know. Third base. It's just... I went over earlier in the show. Less haters in this business. Card collecting is great. It's fun. Something you should be doing with your kids now. Something we're doing now. Reliving our past and our youth. Wow. Wow. That is... That is a lethal weapon right there. You can club somebody, or you can, if, you, if you're in a jam right there. Let's get, we'll get that out of there. Rest in peace. 72 tops basketball wax back. Wow. Oh, I still didn't get it. It's not done yet. Oh, a little trick. Oh, no, I got it. Need a little small snip here. A vasectomy snip. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh, man. I can just imagine. I don't know why I say the word vasectomy when I'm snipping. All right. There it is. Graded, unsearched, and sealed. Uncirculated beauties in there. Let me clean up this mess. 1972. 48 years old. Wow. Where's my Dyson? Like, just rip it. Alrighty then. Here we go. Oh, it's out. It looks better out of the case. There it is. Graded, unsearched, and sealed. PSA graded pack. Top card, Anthony. We open it from the bottom. Gold Rush candy coat. I used to love the Gold Rush. Remember the little pouch? Little gold little nuggets? And a drawstring cloth bag. I used to love that gum. Wow. Like, once in a while, you can find it. Just go look by 72. Maybe you'll see the Gold Rush. I used to love that gum. The infomercial, yeah. Here we go, folks. Great and unsearched and sealed. A beauty here. A rare pack indeed. Even the Bulls impressed. There's no Jordan, but... Let's see if the gum is cooperating. It's a 19... It's an NBA championship card. Okay, I got the bottom off easy, but Anthony, I'm not gonna mess around with that top piece for now. That goes in the freezer for 18.3 seconds and hopefully pops off, but 72, here we go. We'll get pricing on all cards for education purposes only. I'm caught up in the live woohoo. Oh yes, and after this, someone's gonna get a Charlie's Angels. I'm more excited about this than pulling a Dr. J. Nah, not at all. All right, Anthony, let's see if we can get that gum off for you. It's a game two NBA championship Lakers comeback. Card 155. Little OC left to right. Again, we have the gum on the back. I got to show it. It looks like it wants to come off, but I, wanted to, I don't want to damage it anymore. 
$300 in a 10 14 years ago. We'll do our best, Anthony, to try to get that gum off for you, but that's a nice looking card. It's a great shot there. Lakers come back 71 72. Is that Will? That looks like. I think it is. It's a great shot. I'm going to reinvestigate that card. Number two, Don Harden. Don Harden. <laughs> First team ABA All-Star Donnie Freeman of the Dallas Chaparrales, card 252. Chaparrales. Donnie Freeman. Oh, these are packed fresh and beautiful. Let's keep going here. Number three, Tristan. Is the bull in a wreck position? My God, those ask the bull. He's in a wreck position. He is a charging bull. What was the site? Oh, vintagecardprices.com. Vintagecardprices.com. It's about 20 bucks a month. Uh, they do a great job. It's, it's updated real time. But always check on. Sometimes they make a couple errors, uh, which is common. They'll, they'll Maybe a card was autographed or it's the wrong guy, but pretty much 99% bulletproof. Tristan Garber, number three. It's card 244, an ABA championship. Oh, this looks nice. Rick scores on a fast break. Card 244. Close to 300 and a 10. Let me see something here. Yeah, it's Rick Barry. That is Rick Barry on there. What a nice looking card. Game four at the Garden. May 15th, 1972, card 244. 270 and a 10 two years ago. But that is Hall of Famer Rick Barry right there. Great shot with McGinnis. Yeah, he's going over McGinnis there. Cool stuff there, Tristan. That's a nice card. We'll take a closer look at that. Number four, Russell. Russell Farch. A just rip it woo to you. You get a conquistador. 231. First of all, his name's Charlie. He gets a woo. 231, Charlie Williams. Conquistador. Little OC left to right. And there's the back pack fresh. Number five, Russell, you're up next. 160 is a checklist back. I think it is the checklist. Yeah, it's an NBA checklist. Wow, of course it's great. Uh, unmarked, a beautiful, look at number one there. Will Chamberlain, Maravich, Sloan. Just, just the checklist of Phil Jackson, they're all there. A nice unmarked checklist. I always thought these should be worth more because we all checked them off. 150 in the 10 though, last year. For this NBA checklist. I tell you, checklist, in my opinion, should be worth a lot more money that I would buy everyone that was out there because they're unmarked. Especially the 59 Three Stooges. A lot of money for that checklist. There we go. Checklist. Card five for Russell. Six, Chris Harrington. Six, Chris Harrington, Paul Silas, Celtics, card 55. Again, you can see it's the centering issue left to right for 55, Paul Silas. But look at the orange, look at the yellow, pack fresh and beautiful. All we ask for is the centering to be good. And of course, a Hall of Famer, the Butcher. <laughs> Seven, Jim Bronham. A woo to you. You get card number 130. That is Lou Hudson. We're still looking for Dr. J. Lou Hudson. Again, look at the tangerine orange background. The nice lavender hawk. Great cards. 130, Lou Hudson. Uh, about a little less than $100 in a 10 last year, but he is off center left to right. Tops doubled up in 72. They went to 264 cards. The series before that were very slim. Eight, Tristan Garber. Card number 61, Dory Murray, Bullets. 
a little less than 100 in a 10. Pack fresh and beautiful. OC left and right, but not the star power we're looking for. But Josh Kramer's got some star power. Josh Kramer in the nine spot. <sighs> You get Hall of Famer John Havlicek of the Celtics there. John Havlicek. We'll always see left to right. Four and a quarter in a ten. But Havlicek was a great player. A little ink print effect right there. But we'll get Havlicek a horn every time. Number nine. Josh Kramer, you get a pack fresh John Havlicek. There you are. And closing out the pack is Fire Marshal Bill. You get a buck. Card number four, Curtis Perry. Oh, one was Chamberlain. $100 12 years ago for this buck, Curtis Perry. Card four. Curtis Perry. Okay, no doctor. Uh, I have a check. We needed an Irving or Phil Jackson. But again, a beautiful 72 pack there. All packed fresh and nice. Best pull. Hall of Famer John Havlicek. Okay, now Charlie's Angels was coming out. One winner. We will randomize it one time. One time for the Charlie's Angels pack. One time on the randu. It'll be quick. Here it goes. Just one. Anthony stays up there. Holy mackerel. Anthony Verdicchio, you get the Charlie's Angels pack. Curious to see this and the sticker for Anthony Verdicchio. We got it. Anthony, here it is. Wish I had the theme up. Charlie's Angels. Oh, the 59. Oh, I'm supposed to show that. Oh, maybe tomorrow. Oh, 59 Three Stooges. Wait till you see some of these beauties in here. I will show the 59 uh, tomorrow night. Uh, the pack. We haven't listed it. There's the gum, the rancid gum. But here we go. Here, hey, there she is. There she is. An ange angelic pose. There's Farrah Fawcett Majors. Wow. She gets a horn. Posing as a fashion model. Charlie's beautiful angels. There they are. Farrah Fawcett, Kate Smith, I think. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Cycle Free Kelly. A peekaboo from Kelly. Oh, how cute. A little peekaboo from Kelly. Oh, they were hot girls. Oh, wow. Anthony, look what you get. Fire a faucet major sticker. Awesome. Oh, man. Pin that up in your room. Right? Blank back, back. Fire. Oh, we got to put her. She goes into a card saver. Fire a faucet majors. My little crush. Charlie's Angels right there. I should have the theme up. Oh, I didn't know I was going to give this out. Anthony, that goes out to you. Congratulations, a Charlie's Angel free pack. Because we were just talking about it. I knew I had it. Coming soon to just rip it will be Charlie's Angels themselves debuting cards. We need some Charlie's Angels. We need to liven up the show a little more. Liven it up. Like how we're going to liven it up with this next pack. 86 Fleer Basketball. Wax back. Dory looks like a stripper. Could she be one of strippers, rippers, strippers? We just don't know. We just don't know. Change the topic. We use vintage card prices there, Joshua. It's vintage card prices with an S dot com. They charge about 18, 20 bucks a month. Uh, or you can just do one month, check all your cards, and go visit it. We have to check it on a daily basis here at Just Rip It to keep our prices current with what we quote. 
Jacqueline Smith, that's it. I don't know why I can't. Kate Jackson, Jacqueline Smith, and Farrah Fawcett Majors, the original three, Charlie's Angels, good clean TV back in the day. Okay, let's get the next pack ready to go. A pack that's getting hot, scarcer. Scarcer by the by the day, by the week. Very scarce. Uh, and there's a reason for it. The bull is in erect position. And this pack is becoming very high priced and very somewhat rare, but high priced because Michael Jordan's base card, $45,000 in a 10 a couple of weeks ago, up from the 20s, then it went 30, now it's in the 40s. We're thinking the next one could be over $50,000. Who knows the way these guys chase the cards. Uh, Johnny Moore. He's not a well-known player, but he's in the set. He's over 6,000 because of centering issues. That's it. You may not get a great Hall of Famer or a great player, but because of the centering issues, you may get a high-value card. The checklist. Here's a checklist you want. Over $3,000 in a 10 for a checklist in this 86 Fleer. Jeff Malone, one of our famous trios of Malone. And if you add Post Malone, we have four. But he's worth over 3000 Dominique Wilkins, the human highlight reel is worth over 2000 in a 10. The round mound, the rebound, Barkley, 2500 in a 10 last sale. That was April 8th, about three, uh, within a week. Barkley went to 2500 Ooh, wow, we gotta, we gotta maybe read that. Now I know why the pack's going up, because the guys in the pack are going up. Uh, Barkley, 2500 on the bot on the button on April 8th. Ewing over at close to 2000 So Chris is Chris Mullen. Alvin Adams, Elijah Wan, Bird, Carl Malone, the second Malone, uh, all worth about $1,500 in a 10. And trending about 800 to 1000 is Kevin McHale, Rolando Blackman, Jabbar, Mark Aguirre, Magic Johnson, Purvis Short, and a bunch of other guys north of 500 Isaiah, Hanslick. Benoit Benjamin, Derek Harper, Lever, Alton Lister, a name you wouldn't think's worth 500, but he is. He is in the 86. Oh, PGF. Charlie, well, they made that, Corey, they made a new uh, uh, Charlie's Angels movies. I think it was at the theaters, or you can probably rent it. I think uh, Drew Barrymore was in it. There we are. 13 beautiful cards. Here we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Here we go. 13 people. Let's put them into the randu. We will randu and get this thing ripped open. Let's randomize this 86 Fleer PSA graded wax pack. Six times on the randalizer. Let's go six. One, two, three, four. Five, discount and double check is six. Top card, Brian Hooper. Last card, Jamie Driver. Let's put these up and ready to rip. And there we have it. Corey's granddaughter's watching. A lot of kids are watching. What we're doing here at Just Rip It is giving away free wax. We just got fresh boxes of garbage pail kids. If you want a pack for your granddaughter, your grandson, niece, nephew, anybody out there, pre-quarantine, after the quarantine, kids are home from school, get these beautiful late-to-school garbage pail kids. We got another garbage pail, fresh pack. Fresh new ones, horrible cards, very clean kit, nice kit cards for the kids. Hockey packs, Godzilla packs, uh, Rocketeer, Donkey Kong if you're back in the 70s, Supergirl for the girls out there, the Man of Steel for you boys out there. We got Pokemon packs, we got very clean and fun wacky packages right here. All the current pro uh, products, Amazombie, uh, corn, it's just funny stuff for the kids, making fun of today's products. Pokemon, like I said, uh, boy, 
Panini, Don Russ packs, just loads of packs, baseball, anything in here for your grandkids, for your nieces, nephews, for your kids. And we're all kids in heart. We ain't gonna check. Anybody out there wants some free wax, just send us an email at support it, just rip it while supplies last. We will send them out to you for free, as long as you're a registered customer so we have your address on file, while supplies last. And this ain't gonna last more than five minutes as I get ready to open up a 1986 Fleer Basketball Wax Pack, PSA 7, serial number 22690334. Knock on plastic if you're with me, because Jordan base cards north of $40,000. label just fell out. Plastic all over the place. There we have it. Wow. That Jordan documentary, by the way, the 10-part series, which is supposed to be after the basketball season, comes out next week. Just put it on this week. What are they making us wait another week for? Great documentary. 86 Fleer Basketball Wax Pack coming at you. Let's clean up. Let's clean up. Clean up an aisle. Nine. Or aisle 23. The bull's all happy. He is pumped up and ready to go. Here we go. Besides the Jordan base, which we pulled in our equity model with the sticker as well. Uh, besides that Jordan base and those base cards, the stickers, the stickers. Everybody's Jordan up $14,000 for a Michael Jordan sticker. There's only 11 stickers in the set, and Jordan sold for $14,000. But Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, $18,000. Can't knock Kareem. He is the one sticker, number one, $18,000 for Jabbar, February 10th, 2020. Michael at fourteen. dollars Then you got Elijah Wan and Bird, about $1,500 in a 10 uh, Magic, Dominique Wilkins, Irving, Isaiah, and Ewing, all about 500 plus. And for some reason, Dantley in English, only a couple hundred dollars, $300 or so, two, 300. But stickers are commanding some value. There will be one guaranteed in this pack. And it's usually the one at the end, pending there are 13 cards there for Jamie Driver. Everybody can see their name. There we go. That's better. Okay. You got the pricing. The pack is open. Twelve cards, a sticker, and a gum. We don't want the gum. Double bubble. Original tropical fruit and new great grape. Wow. Eva wants a Godzilla chorus. She's got it. Eve, Ava. Ava. Godzilla. That's great. Oh, that's a nice pack. Good movie to watch, too, for the kids. Here we go. Top card, Brian Hooper, as we open it from the bottom. Good luck, everybody. Michael Jordan. My goodness, great player. And you're gonna see how great he was. Everyone forgets. Gino Zawecki. So my son, DJ, we didn't know Godzilla cards. Oh, right, yeah, they don't While supplies last, I don't know what's in there. First come, first serve. Let us know. I mark the gum like I always do. Here we go, everybody. Good luck. We're trying to look for... Number one, Brian Hooper. Clark Kellogg. Not the cornflake, but that's Special K. There with the Lakers. Clark Kellogg, card 58. Oh! Laker great. Card two, Richard Minori. 
the wizard. Hey, we're looking for Gus's before in our graded, unsearched, and sealed. Gus Williams, the wizard. Sonics now with the bullets. Gus Williams, great career there for the wizard. That clear sleeve was a 10. Clearest sleeves around. You got it there, Shane. Anything your daughter wants, we will get to you. Number three, Russell Forch. Woo! You, my friend, you get Buck Williams. Buck Williams, Nets. Card one, two, three. Number four. I'm sorry, three was Jim Bron Jim Branham. Jim Branham, card three. Buck Williams, card three, Jim Branham. Now, Russell. Russell's up now. Number four for Russell. Piston great, Vinny Johnson. These are looking very nicely centered. Card 56, Vinny Johnson for number four, Russell Farch. Card five is Russell again, Gerald Wilkins. Three twenty-five and a ten. Gerald Wilkins. Card one, two, two. Card six, Jim Branham. Vern Fleming. Pacers guard. Card thirty-three. Card seven, Darryl Close. Laker great and coach great, Byron Scott. 300 plus in a 10 card, 99. Card eight, Brett, Brett Keller. You get a Hall of Famer, Patrick Ewing. New York Knickerbockers, Patrick Ewing, great. We gotta stop the music there because we know Ewing. Patrick Ewing, base card. Patrick Ewing, card 32. I can't find you. Why am I in the wrong? 1900 dollars in a 10. Oh, maybe a tad left or right. With Gerald Wilkins in the background. Card number eight, Brett Keller. Oh, a little left or right. But 1900 dollars there. If he was a little better, better, it's slightly centered. That would have been cool. Georgetown Hoya, now the coach there. Let's keep going. Number nine, Harry Lack, LAQ, and a woo to you. You get card 98, Dan Shays. Dan Shays. Johnny Trubach saying 11 is Jordan. Tough centering, yeah, that was a little tough centering on Shays. Earlier ones weren't that bad. Brandon Dell, JustRipIt.com, all our prices are there. PJ Sauce, your favorite player. Ewing was a great player, great. Number 10, Michael King. You get Vern Fleming, that's not good centering there. Vern Fleming, card 10. Number 11, Bruce Boyle. Oh, wow, there's only 11 cards in the pack. Only 11 in the pack. Should be 13. Number 11, Dan Shays. Card 98. Okay, we're short a card. Number 12 is Jeremy Baker. Number 13, Jamie Driver. 
We have another one up there. We can put you into that pack. We can give you points or we can give you a full refund, but there is no card 13. Sorry about that. Jamie Driver card 13. Number 12 is the last card in the pack. It is a sticker. Somebody give me a doctor. Somebody give me a shot. Because Jeremy Baker just got the Dr. J sticker. Oh, that look doesn't look that bad at all. Dr. Ju oh, we're looking for him in the 72 before. Julius Irving sticker. Last 10, $785 last month. Dr. J. Julius Irving. Ooh, maybe top to bottom slightly. We'll check that for you, Jeremy Baker. Julius Irving giving a nice bicep shot there. Dr. J. Great player. Julius Irving. Right there. Last sticker, $785 last month. Dr. J, Julius Irving. Okay, once again, Jamie Driver, for you new people too. There was no card 13, Fleer uh, did not have 13 cards, so you will get a credit. You can get a full cash credit. We can give you points, or we can put you into another pack, which I believe we have listed up there. So that's for you. And but right there, Jeremy Baker. Oh, we wanted Jordan or Jabbar, but not too bad. Number seven on the uh, six on the depth chart. Julius Irving, eight hundred dollars. That is a sweet card. We will look at how the tens grade, and we will let you know. We want. We just pulled the seventy-two, right? It's unbelievable. And Dr. J made an appearance there. There you are. PSA does allow sixty forty centering in the back as well for that. Again, Jamie, sorry about that. I know you're probably hepped up watching and looking in case you're watching on our archive. We will put you into the next pack. They sell out pretty fast. Let us know what you want to do, or you can chime in the room or send us an email. But there we are. 86 in the books. I'm going to give out a 1980 NBA, because there was a card short, NBA sticker. I'm giving out two prizes, because we're short a card. I get a little upset. First prize is going to get a 1980 NBA basketball team sticker pack, and second prize will get a 1990 NBA hoops pack. Just free for the rando. I don't like when it's short a card, because everybody gets hepped up, including myself, and everybody wanted to get a card, so we're going to give everybody a chance to win something. Let's rando it just one time, five times with one dice. Let's go five, first and second prize. A little bonus randuski on this pack. One, two, three, four, five. Russell! Russell gets both! Wow, Russell, one and two. Russ and Russ, in case you're watching or watching or not watching or checking in later, you got both pack one and two. Free from Just Rip It. Just something we do with the spur of the moment. A 1980 sticker pack, which I used to stick all over the place. This is pretty cool. There is a net sticker with the spur uh, spurs. That's a great one. I used to love that one. On my notebook, Laker sticker. Kansas City Kings, a little throwback. Denver Nugget, look at that guy. A true nugget with the ABA ball. These are cool. 50, 40 years old, San Antonio Spur high gloss sticker and a Pistons NBA sticker. And on the back of these are all little puzzles, which if you had enough of them, you can put together a cool puzzle. Russell, that's what they look like. 1980, give or take a year. Uh, wax pack, all 22 teams. That's out to you for free. Extra ripping pleasure, except the gum we mark and throw out. And Russell, you get a 1990, 15 trading cards. 30 years old. Wow, let's see what we have here. Alvin Robertson, Mitch Richmond, Chuck Person, Bill Wennington, a nice checklist. They got to keep flipping them. Lafayette Lever, Daryl Griffin, Jazz, great player. I remember him. Mark Allaire, Mo Cheeks, Randy Allen, Vern Fleming, John Stockton, 
Hall of Famer. Uwe Blob. There we go. There's a new one. Uwe Blob. We had Bol Bol, Mo Bamba, Uwe Blob. There was always a crazy name. Danny Ferry and Laker great. Mark, uh, not Laker great. I always think every Laker is great. Mark McNamara. That is funny. Stockton was the best, but I still think. Uwe Blob. Russell, out to you. When we're short of court, we usually give out some extra stuff in there. Two extra packs. Dr. J. A nice Patrick Ewing card and a couple of nice centered cards in there. We'll check for grading. But there's our 86 in the books and done. The bull resting position. Okay, we did a lot of basketball. Next up, we're going Uwe Blob. Yeah. Chris Pinelli looks sweet. Yep, yep, yep. Blue light. We usually have specials. We'll see what's going on. But right now, let's focus on... I believe we have one more 86 up there. We'll try again. That was a little exciting. I thought Jordan was going to make an appearance. And even a Jabbar sticker. Okay, 77 Star Wars. Coming up next, let's get it ready and loaded. Eight cards all together, including a sticker. Big value here. We had some nice tens come back on this Star Wars. Let's randomize this pack. Five times on the Randu. Let's go five Randu for Star Wars. One, two, three, four. Discount double check is a five and five. Nathan Jones, top card and the last card in this Star Wars Series One. The most valuable series in all the Star Wars. Let's get these up. Okay. And maybe one Luke Skywalker. Because ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something about this 77. A Luke Skywalker sticker, over $6,000 in a 10. And that was two years ago. Han Solo, over 3,000 in a 10 sticker. These are stickers only, and there's one per pack. Prince Leia Organa, 3,000. Obi-Wan Kenobi, sticker 3,000 in a 10. And over $1,000 is a lot of cards. I'm not gonna read them all. About seven or eight worth over $1,500 or so. And a bunch of other ones worth several hundred dollars just for the sticker. To the base, it's all about the base. A Luke Skywalker card number one base. We have pulled them before. Close to $7,000 in a 10. We got five up there. We may have to change that. 6800 two months ago. Uh, the Marvelous Droid C-3PO. $4,000. Oh, that's not, that's not, no, wait, that's series two. Wait a minute. All right, back to the board. Uh, Space Pirate Han Solo, Organa, and the Lightsaber worth over a thousand. And then we got Grand Marv Tarkin and may the Force be with you. Worth some money as well. The 1977 Star Wars First Series Wax Pack, PSA graded eight. Let's get the appropriate. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Darth Vader, as Charlie the Ripper took a little break, is about to open up a 1977 First Series Star Wars Pack, PSA 8. May the force be with all of you. Special guest in the studio, Darth Vader, opening up the pack. And Darth doesn't mess around. Oh no, Darth. I am not your father. Rest in peace. Star Wars, as Darth will continue to clean up the studio. Always a pleasure here, always here to make this pack as great as we can. Thank you, Darth Vader. 
You're welcome. And here I am, back, just in time. Oh, that nasty guy pulling the pack. Let's clean up a little bit with the Dyson. Two and a half hours in, we're still ripping on this Magic Monday. Garbage pail coming up in the hole after that. Panini Contenders. And we have a 78 OPG Hockey Wax Pack coming up. So let's continue the ripping frenzy. Graded, unsearched, and sealed. Star Wars pack. Looks even better out of there. Black wrapper. Toys made by Kenner. Good quality stuff there. Nathan Jones, you get the top card. Sticker sometimes has some little bit of gum. It's a 50-50 shot. Let's hope it's a clean sticker. It's usually the top cards. We open it from the bottom, and Nathan Jones gets the top card on this pack. We've had pull 10s before, including Princess Leia Organa, which is worth over $1,000 for a lucky customer. It was on our grade parade at Just Rip It. Only five to go. Oh, my God. Imagine this. Thursday, I still can't get over it. Not that bad on the back with the gum. Not that bad. I've seen worse. A very nice piece of gum. Oh boy. Don't even say. Don't even say. I'm trying to find a reason not to give it a 10. We've had a population five. Ladies and gentlemen, to my dismay, I'm giving this an SGC 10. I don't know why I wrote on it. I will take a nibble of it. First of all, nothing wrong with it. I couldn't find any mold at all. Now, of course, I can't eat the whole gum because by accident, I marked it all up. But Not that bad. Yeah. You can't throw it. I don't know why I even bother doing this. Let me wash it down. What you want? A little antiseptic. Ah, okay. Population six, a graded 10 piece of gum. Wow. Nathan Jones. Let's get ready to rip. Let's see what this sticker is. This mouse is going ballistic on me here tonight. We will be opening Evil Knievel tonight. For those of you out there, for you fathers out there, I want to show your son a little a real daredevil. Evil Knievel is coming up later in the show as well. Nathan Jones, first. Oh, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. We got, we got a slight silhouette on the back, but this is, I'll give you a hint. That is a Luke Skywalker for Nathan Jones. Number one card, number one sticker, 6,000 in a 10. Not that bad of a back. It's blank, but we have a little silhouette there. Right into the card saver. from the front. This looks absolutely phenomenal. Mark Hammer. Oh, Nathan. That is a pack fresh Luke Skywalker sticker. Left to right. I'm looking here and here. My eyes are shifting back and forth. That, that looks really good. You know what we say here? It's just rip it. Pretty, pretty, Look at that. Pretty, pretty good. Just a single shot right there. Again, a little silhouette of the gum on the back. But the last 10 for sticker one, $6,150 two years ago. There it is. There is Luke of our Luke the Skywalker. Sticker number one, that's what we try to do here at Just Rip It. Who, who, no one, people watch 
watching the show were like, ah, Star Wars, let me go make a ham sandwich. Well, guess what? $6,000 for this card. And he's not even in the Hall of Fame. Uh, there you go. Great job there, Nathan. Let's keep going. Chris Morrison, you're up. I see Harrison Ford puzzle back. You got card number 55. Hans, Chewie, and Luke. Hans, Chewie, and Luke. A little off-center. These horizontal ones are a little tough. About $60 in a tent a couple of years ago for Han, Chewie, and Luke. you think Han, Chewie, and Luke would get a little more, but there it is. Three, Chris, you're up again. Movie fact back. R2-D2 is missing. Card 16. Another pack fresh Star Wars. That's not 16. 18. My apologies. 18. $300 in the 10. We got a little left to right. Top to bottom looks perfect. The left to right, again, horizontal. But if it was a little bit a little bit better Saturday, 10 for this card, over $300. Star War back. There. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, the gum. Yeah, you got gum, Nathan, last week. Nathan pulled a beautiful Nolan Ryan card, and it had a piece of gum like like barnacled on it. I mean, really bad. And it was a shame. A great Nolan Ryan. Uh, card number four. Here we go, Nathan. Four, five, four and five. Number four, Nathan. Mark Hamill in the control room. Looks like card 61. Again, the left to right horizontals are a little tougher to get in a 10. Hundred, a little less than $200 last year for Mark Hamill. And there is your back. Story summary 7 of 11 for you Star Wars fan. I like the next puzzle back. You got a little C-3PO. Got a half a picture of him. Number five, Nathan. There's the back. Little C-3PO. Pretty cool, right? Like one eyeball. Oh, I thought it was the... Oh, 57. It, it, it is him again. You pull the sticker. Card 57. Mark Hamill as the Luke Skywalker last sold $1,100 last year in a 10. C-3PO looks pretty happy too. You got a quarter, an eighth of a moon in him. Let me write to a card saver. Nathan, part five. We're going to have our expertise crack staff. Look at that. You can look at it now at home, streaming live. Eleven hundred dollars in a ten. Puzzle back. Very nice card. Maybe a little left to right, but it's packed fresh. There's a woo for you. Wow, you got the Luke, not, not the Luke Skywalker one car, but he's up there. $1,100. Maybe a little left to right. Top to bottom looks good. All the stars around the border are all beautiful and packed fresh there. Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. Wow. Okay, number six, Brian Hooper. Burt Reynolds movie, I think, of Brian Hooper. Six. Number six, the villainous Darth Vader. Oh, boy. He opened the pack up earlier. Maybe we can get him back here to tell us what it's worth. $250 in a 10? Yeah. Yeah, that looks not badly centered either. A nine sells for a buck 50. A very popular card there, Brian Hooper. So Burt Reynolds movie was Hooper. Hooper. Darth Vader with some soldier. Mikey McCoy's binge watching all the Star Wars. Might as well, you know. That's the time to watch every trilogy of every movie. I just cleared out all the Rockies over the weekend. Nice card there. Brian Hooper, card six. The villain is Darth Vader. Number seven and eight, Nathan Jones. You close out the pack. You've been on a Skywalker roll. You get card number nine. Rebels defend their starship. A little buck and a half, a little less than a buck and a half last year, but OC left to right. Trying to get you one more, Nathan. The Revenge of the Gum. Number eight, you get the droids are reunited. 
That is card 12. It says $50 in a 10, but left to right anyway. But a nice card. This is a nice card. Darth kills that guy. Oh, no, come on, Mike. You don't give us a spoiler here. Don't give us a spoiler. Ralph Terry, SGC8. I missed something there. Ralph Terry. Darth kills the guy. Come on, they'll be, uh, they'll be telling us what's going on there. There it is again, ladies and gentlemen. Nathan Jones getting gum revenge with a Luke Skywalker sticker. And the Mark, uh, Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. Star Wars has some value. It's a great trilogy. It's a great sticker pack. It's some great values in there. And we had some great tens. Congratulations, everybody, for that Star Wars. Always a treat. And we'll list another one down the road. And there we are. Need we say any more? We're going back to the garbage. Back to the garbage. Coming up, our other garbage pill that's sold out. Let's get that up. Just pay attention to the SKUs. Excuse me, the SKUs are there. Thank you, everybody, for that. Star Wars, Nathan, Brian, and Chris. Great series, set one, the really. 40 plus years. Oh, man, we're getting old. We need a, we need a quarantine the, the Fountain of Youth, Ponce de Leon. Okay, everybody come back to the screens for several reasons. We're opening up another garbage pail where we've been pulling some great garbage pail kids, literally. And we have a, a, a special, I don't know if it's red or blue yet, but we're trying to figure it out. Garbage pail kids. This pack is garbage 85 tops, first series wax, PSA 8, 4408 SKU number NS. Nancy Star 0084. Skew number. Let me get these five people into the randu. And we're gonna randomize this pack. Eight times on the randu. Yogi eight. Let's go eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, Mantle seven, discount double check was Yogi eight, there is eight. Jeffrey McGowan, the top card, Jason Grimward, the last card in this garbage pail, Packaroonie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get these in there. Just five cards, it's a quickie but powerful, if I may say so the least. Let's get them up. We got a red light special coming. I'll go over that. I think it's been posted in the room. There's our five. Garbage pail move over temporarily. Red light special. Wow, what do we got here? Purchase a card in the 80 tops basketball. Four left. There's only four left out of eight. Team pinup is randomized. Purchase an 80 Tops Basketball Wax Pack or a 2019 Panini National Treasure to get an entry to win, you guessed it, Sports King Series F. There are four spots in the basketball pack. Five. Five in the basketball? Four in the basketball. Four in the basketball. Four left here. And in the National Treasures, there is... Five. Five left in the National Treasures. Four left in the basketball. Five left. Unlimited. Nine entries only. Nine spots. That's it. Unlimited. Or and there's nine people. Sports King Series F goes out to one winner of the nine. Both must sell out. Four there, five there. Nine spots. Nine people or the same. You buy all nine. You guaranteed the, the red light special. There it is. 80 tops basketball wax pack and a national treasure. There's some treasures in there, trust me. There's our red light special. You get a Sports King Series F.
And now, without further ado, back to the garbage pail where I went over earlier in the show when we pulled out some beauties. Uh, Nasty Nick, uh, over uh, $4,000. Has a been one? Atom Bomb Checklist or Base, uh, close to four to 5000 now. Evil Eddie, Junkie Jeff, Schizo Fran, Dead Ted Checklist, Jade Decay, Electric Bill, Blasted Billy, and a Blasted Billy Checklist, checklist all over 1000 A lot of other cards north of 500 here. And this Garbage Pail, 1985 Tops. First Series Wax Pack. Lavender with the 25 cent cheap logo on there. Let's get ready to rip for our five people. We'll give you a countdown. There's nine spots, four and five. Eight, Eight left. National Treasure or 80 Basketball or do one of each and you get two spots. Only nine spots for multiple people. Sports King Series F out to you on our red light. Six, it'll go. While it's going, let me get going on opening up this garbage pail. If you're watching, great. If you stepped away, we'll post it in the room. 1985 Garbage Pail Series First Wax Pack, PSA 8, s number 4408-6615, SKU, NS0084, Jeffrey, Brett, William, Jeffrey again, and Jason Grimard. Knock on the plastic if you're with me. Good luck, everybody. That red light special usually goes fast. I hate to say it, it's down to your Wi-Fi. 80 basketball sold out. 80 basketball is gone. That is gone. National Treasures is left for our Series F. And I showed earlier in a pre-grade parade that Mariano Rivera autographed memorabilia was in there. But right now, 85 basketball, um, 85 basketball, 85 garbage pail, done. Let's dice in it up. A lot of autographs and memorabilia in that National Treasure. It'll be a treat to open up that. And here we go. While that red light special is a spinning. I just gotta show it again just in case that this is sold out, so that's gone. It's down to the National Treasures. Both must sell out. If they do, all those entries will get a chance to win the Sports King Series F Red Light Special. And here we go. Number one, card number one. We open it from the bottom. Jeffrey, you get the top card. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. It's out of the pack. Graded, unsearched, and sealed. Pack fresh. The bull helped me out there a little bit. The gum. Six population. Oh, yep, we got some, we got a little mold there. Some white patches there. We will give this a PSA grade of seven. It's so small, which is good. We don't care about the gum in these packs. Less damage. Card number one. Jeffrey McGowan, here we go. Juvenile Delinquency Award. You get Stormy Heather. Heard it was pretty stormy up in the Northeast today. There was 7A Stormy Heather. $320 in a 10. Little left to right there. And unfortunately, just a moderate minor gum, but that's some of that gum just kind of falls off once it hits the air. Stormy Heather, $300 in a 10 this year but a little left to right, as that kid just getting a lightning bolt to the brain, wearing a raincoat. Number one, Jeffrey McGowan, Stormy Heather for you. Two, Brett Keller, Grouch License, Mold Paul, 15B, over $200 in a 10. That's that kid, on crutches, bandage up with the band-aids, mold pull, black sticker, grouch license for number two, Brett Keller. Card three. Where are we at here? Three. William Grothkop. 
Another woo to you. It's a liar's license card. Maggie. Haggy Maggie. Oh, I thought it was a like a nasty Nick's sister. 16B. Almost $500 in a 10. And you know what, William? That looks pretty damn good. Maybe a little top to bottom. I see a little blemish there in the bottom. Let's put this into a card saver. Haggy Maggie. She's a witch. That's a frog, a bat, a skull making a witch's brew. I see a little dot there. Not to be too particular. We're very, very particular here. Liar's license on the back looks clean as a bell. But Haggy Maggie, $450 in a 10 last year. Pack fresh for you. Beautiful. Four left in our red light special. It's only the national treasures. That is left. Jeffrey McGowan, your second card. Squealer's license. 4A. 4A. Brian Brian. $180 in a 10. And I tell you. Pretty good. It's pretty, pretty. It's only 180 in a 10 last year, but that looks really good. That looks really outstanding, centering wise. Let's check the back. Squealer's license. Telly Teller, Teller, Tattle Taylor. We need an electric bill. That kid's in the electric, that kid's getting electrocuted in the electric chair. That's a bad dude there. Frying Brian is frying. That looks really good there, Jeffrey. Nice pack fresh. Very well centered. And not a blemish on the card again. 4A for you. Wow. There we are. Yeah, uh, who was looking for the. Mold Paul looking for the COVID cure. Haggy Maggie. Last one, Jason Grimard. A dirty rat award. Oh, Jason. You get a TV Stevie 10A. Slight left to right. Over $300 in a 10 last year. He's just got a TV for a head. Remember those big boxes? They were their TVs. So I'll show you kids. That's what they used to look like back in the day. TV Stevie, Dirty Rat Award. It's a rat. It's a real rat. Melvin Rat. Melvin, Melvin something. Okay, a nice clean garbage pail, five sticker pack. Some look really cool. Some look very well centered. There they are, colorful, bold and bright. 35 years old, pack fresh and complete. And in the books here at JustRipIt.com. We have another one up there. Uh, Nasty Nick and Adam bombed big time last week, but there's a, chunk, uh, there's a bunch of other ones worth some big money, including Chunky Jeff, Evil Eddie. Schizophrenia here is a hot card, as well as Blasted Billy, Electric Bill, and Brutal Brad in there as well. There we have it. Oh, there was only eight spots in the red light special. Only eight, not nine, which doesn't matter. And there's only four left. Let me see here. Next next box up will be a Panini Contenders. That is coming up next, Panini Contenders. Let me go over the red light. Let me give a live update. There is our prize, a Sports King Series F box. This is sold out. So that part one is gone. That is sold out and gone. And then we have the Panini National Treasures baseball box from 2018. There's only four left. There's only nine cards available, including a booklet, signature material, signature gold, bat nameplates, cleat cards, ID tags, worth over a thousand in there, and some current rookies and legends. Uh, in there, nine spots, only four left. If these four sell out, because the basketball is sold out, those eight people, which is better news, not nine, of the eight, one person wins the series app. If you have multiple entries, you double your chance for that. Okay, where are we at? Grade that one. Uh, we'll check all those cards for grading. The red light special has four left. Corey, the National Treasures is a great box. No one will be disappointed there with the memorabilia and autographs that are in that one.
Okay, let's get a little contenders going on. We pulled a John Moran orange earlier out of a certified. Let's get up, ready to go. A little box of contenders, not even a box, it's pretty small. There we go, got it. 2019 Panini Contenders. Thank you, five people for Garbage Pail. We have another one up there. Great value in that pack. Two autographs, 12 packs, 10 cards per pack. Let's randomize this Panini Contenders. Poster, bowl, bowl, I would love a post. <laughs> bowl, bowl is great. Seven, seven on the Randu. Let's go seven Randu style. One, two, three, four, five, sixer, and mantle seven. Discount double check, seven. First pack I pull out, Jake Hafner, and the last one. Three left. Three left in the red light special. Three left, red light special. Where we'll give away a Sport King Series F, the one lucky winner. And there we have it. There we have it. The bull steps aside because he is Zioned up. Here we go, box break coming up. There's 12 packs in here. Two autographs, 10 cards per pack, so we'll go pretty quick. Panini Contenders up and at them. Key rookies, of course, like our certified and like our crown royale, Zion, Jean Morant, RJ Barrett. Auto gold number to 10 or a cracked ice number to 25. Believe it or not, worth up to $10,000. And there's also some Kobe Bryant autos. He signed some in here as well. The late, great Kobe Bryant, over 4,000. I saw some that were pulled out of there. Uh, Morant, Zion, of course, Barrett, Reddish, Hashimura, uh, a couple other good rookies. Season tickets, like I said, the OptiChrome rookie season ticket premiere edition number to 10. A lot of different variations. The permit to dominate and license to dominate, very rare. Let's look for some of those in there. And let's get ready to rip open this box. Crown Rail, not yet. Nope, not yet. We're doing the, we did certified. Now we're doing contenders. We go a little modern. We go from Luau Cinder to Zion. It's unbelievable. We got a 61 Fleer up there, which is going to be phenomenal, to say the least. But here we go. Red Light Special has three left. Pay attention to that. In case you just joined us. We start here, we work that way. Pack number one, Jake Hafner, good luck. Up next is a 78 Opichi Hockey and then the Crown Royale. Here we go, John Collins, Alonzo Trier, Clay Thompson, well like little tickets, cool cards, Damian Lillard, Lillard. We got auto already. Whoa, Jake Hafner right out of the gate. What do we have here? Quindary Weatherspoon playoff ticket autograph. Look at that signature. He just gave up so many letters, so little time. 74 of 99. Quindary Weatherspoon autograph right out of the get go. Wow, the certified made his weight. This came right out of the gate. Quindary Weatherspoon. And the funniest thing about this is look at how he just signed his name. He just, it's like he just gave up. He gave up. All right. DeRozan. Hey, Mo Bamba. Ah, ba, Bamba. Mo Bamba. We always like Mo. Mo, Larry, and Curly, and Mo Bamba. Jamal Murray, Hardaway Jr., and Carl Anthony Towns. Mentioned earlier, his mom recently passed away. Our condolences to him. But Jake Hafner, right out of the gate, taking a little surprise out of the box, but there is another autograph, Quindary autograph for you. Pack one, let's go pack two. 
the names they're all European and they're just they're trying to have that unique name but you gotta back it up you have to back it up two Tiffany Stoltzing <laughs> who to you there Marvin Bagley the third Zach Levine Kevin Hoyter Chris Paul Allstate Luke Doncic they're trying to get some Luke rookies up there 17 oh is it possible Auto Romeo Langford for Tiffany Stolzing, our second auto out of the box. Wow, right out of it. Romeo Langford, that is numbered 34 of 99. Celtics, right into the penny sleeve and into the card saver. Back to back autos. Wow. Maybe it's just a packed box, we just don't know. But we will go faster. The rest Ingram, Mark Kanan. Steph Curry, who just came back before the season got postponed. Two packs, two autos. Right there, pack number two. All right, we're going pretty fast. They say two autos. Let's hope there's three. Maybe it's an on average. But here we go. Number three, Jim Lavoy. Quindary is not European. I, mean, I don't know what it is. Quindary? Dairy free. Crazy names, and I butcher them up because it's just a lot of consonants. You gotta buy a vowel sometimes. Three, Jim Lavoy, Sabonis, Siakam, I'll tell you, Joel Embiid, what are the Jones and Smith and Schultz, Horford, blank back card, lottery ticket, Panini Contenders lottery ticket, Tyler Hero, my hero. There's Bam, Bam, just the crazy names. Kyle Lowry, DeAndre Jordan, there it is, our Jordan. Mitchell Robinson and Okafer, Jaheel Okafer. All right, Mike, Jaheel, DeAndre, Bam, Domantis, Pascal, Joel, and an Al. We had an Al. Best name in the pack, Al. Mo Bamba. We're gonna get a bowl bowl. <laughs> it's just, I, just it's unbelievable it really is Mike right back at you my friend number four Tiffany I'm hoping there's another autograph in here Chris hey, even that they got a botch up they had to put a K not a C Chris Middleton Colin Sexton Jalen Brown Victor Durant he, he conquered the COVID Chris Dunn numbered Nine of twenty-five, Chris Dunn. Sorry, we got some we got some numbered cards here. Nine of twenty-five. Doubles. Chris Dunn. Very small there. You can hardly see it. 19 of 25. 6'4, 205 pounds. Chris Dunn. Numbered card. And rounding out Thomas Bryant, not Kobe. Julius, not Irving, but Randall. Bradley Beal, not Bill Bradley. And there we are, Goran. Goran Dragic. It sound all these names sound like like Superman. The son of Jarrell. Crazy, crazy stuff. Pack four. Four. Tiger Woods box we have up there. Where are we at? Pack five. Halfway through the box. T-I-F-F-A-N-Y. There are still numbered cards in here, and it could be a Zion, so let's just keep this faith going. Here we go. Car Karis Levert. Lonzo Ball. Lonzo. Devin Booker. Vukovic. Oh, one of these nice, cool ca quad card. Team quad. Teague. Culver. Mrs. The Wiggins and Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. Alexander. Isaac. Anthony Davis, he was on his way to win his first title. Kuzma, Laker, and DeAndre Ayton. Tell you one thing, I've been eating a lot of food around this house lately. Surprised I'm not blowing up the screen there. Nice team quad there. Pack five for Tiffany. Gerald is not European. That is the son of Jarrell, Superman's father. Jarrell. Zahn. Gotta watch, gotta watch a little pullback, little uh, Superman. So watching the old Christopher Reeve, 66 Superman. We have that pack up there. Jimmy Olsen, black and white. 
It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Still got our red light special going on. Pack six, T-I-F-F-A-N-Y. Tiffany pulled one of her autographs. Here we go. Aaron Gordon, Kevin Love, Miles Turner, Jaron Jackson Jr., lottery ticket, Kobe White. Hey, it's a Kobe, but C-O-B-Y. Miles Bridges, Jay Crowder, Terry Rozier, Josh Owiwa Kenobi, and Mark Gasol. Kenobi. Kenobi. Oh, I got Star Wars. Super. 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 <laughs> Seven. Tiffany again. Let's look for some numbered cards. Got some more quads coming out. All right, Corey. Kobe White. Corey is our sleeve. He's the sleeve man. Oh, why didn't I sleeve him? Yeah, what am I doing here? It's, it's a Panini Contender Draft Lottery Tickets card. Very nice. Oh, wait. I completely went over my head. Lottery Ticket. Draft 2019. Kobe. Doubles. There we are, Corey. My thank you for that. I, all those quads and lottery tickets should be put in, should get sleeved up. Where are we at? Number seven. Tiffany's up again. Tyler Johnson, Kemba Walker, Buddy, Lonnie, Derek Rose, legend. Oh, here comes a quad. Kyrie Irvin, Lavert. DeAndre Jordan and Jarrett Allen. Very nice. Four Nets. I'll tell you, if Durant and Kyrie Irvin have it their way next year, they will be in that great run for the title next year. Oh, there he is. We got a 2013 box. He could have been on his way to win the title. And he still may. There'll be an asterisk here for this season, but that's Giannis. Check out our 2013 Panini Prism. Russell Westbrook. Jonas. Not Jonas, the customer Jonas, and Andrew Wiggins. 2013 Prism, his card is worth a lot of money. Pack seven, let's put the quad card in there for you. Tiffany Stolzen. A lot of cards in each pack. It's a fun box. Pack seven, sleeved up, wrappered up. You even get the wrapper. So see, everybody gets a Zion on the wrapper. The Ripper. Eight. Tiffany again. Wow. Super thick pack. David Ricerone. The San Francisco treat. Yeah, the rookies will. <laughs> Jokic. Not the ten. Jokovic. Tennis player. Jason Tatum. On fire. Trey Young. Clint Capella. Oh, that's why it was thick. They gave us one of these. Beautiful. They grade all these tens, by the way. Oh, Rookie of the Year contender. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo Langford. Celtic. <laughs> Romeo. Romeo. Where art out thou, Romeo? Rookie of the Year contender. I could have been a contender. 88 Fleer sold out. 88 Fleer sold. How's the red light special doing? Three left. Three left in the red light. Educate people in the National Treasure Education. Przingis, Fox, Conley, Hassan, Whiteside, and Steve Adams. Pack eight. Four to go. 9, 10, 11, 12. PSA filler card, yeah. What do you got? David Rice. Let me go over that red light special earlier. There's only eight entries. The 80 tops sold out to win that Sports Kings. There's only three left in the National Treasures. Three left in this National Treasures. There's autographs, memorabilia, legendary guys, old school guys. There's a booklet in there. There's some great rookies as well. National Treasures, three left. Take out those three. The Red Light Special sells out. All eight people will be put into this randomized drawing to win a Sports Kings Series F. The 80 tops basketball is gone. Only three left in the treasures. 
Every entry gets you a spot to win that Series F. And our jackpot, too. If you haven't got in our jackpot, you actually can buy a, a National Treasures, and you'll get, oh, it's 150 If you do, we'll override it. We'll override it. We're, we're overriding it. We're not going to make it complicated. Uh, it's 120, uh, 150 to get into the jackpot. Because this is only 120 that's all we say. Get in there, and you can double dip and get another entry in the jackpot for the last three National Treasures. Red light special, where somebody takes home the Series F box, all five cards, yours. Number nine, it's gone. Going, going, gone. Oh, wow, beautiful box there. It's actually, it's like a good cigar box, too. Great, it's gone. More jackpot prizes. Number nine, Cali Tuttle. Look at you, breaking up that Tiffany Street. Cali Tuttle. Cali Tuttle. Here we go. Monk. Malik Monk, Draymond Green, Rudy Gobert, John Wall. He got lost. Gobert. Gobert Drummond. Oh, we got a bam. Just like saying it. Bam! Seven out of 299. Bam. Adibayo. I don't know. Adibayo? Adibio. Bada bing, bada boo, bada bam, bada bayo. Bam. The opposite of bam. What happened to how this guy got lost? Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin. Go find your way to the court and maybe start scoring again. LaMarcus Aldridge, DeMarcus Cousins, he just gets hurt every year. And Montrezel Harrell, the son of Harrell. Bam! Cool card. I tell you, really nice cards. Really nice cards in these contenders. You do get 12, you get a pack, you get two autographs, you get numbered cards, you get team quads right down the line. Let's finish it up. Pack 10, 11, and 12, Tiffany, Tiffany, and Jake. Shane. The inch, other entries in that Sports King Series F. Love Shane right now, because now someone will get it. That's fantastic. The love is there. Jake, yes, you got that autograph early, and you get the last pack in there. This is number 10 for Tiffany. Chris Dunn, D'Angelo Russell, Porter, Hayward, Quad card, Quad a Rooney, Westbrook, Gordon, Capella, and the great bearded one. Check out the card though. Look at that little mosaic. It's beautiful. I really like it. And on the back, Harden. Guy just scores. I just don't think he's ever going to take home a title. He gets Westbrook over there. I think they need Durant. But he is the bearded wonder. Harden. Hey, and there he is again. Hey. Rocket. Harden. He was the leading scorer before the season got delayed. Leonard. Harris. I tell you, he's just great. He really is. He's enjoyable to watch. Brooke Lopez. I think there's two of them. Oh, hey. Lebron. Lebron James. Remember him? He plays for the Lakers. He won with the Cavaliers in Heat. Remember him? He used to play basketball. I think we used to watch. We'd be watching right now. I don't know where they would be. Semi-finals, Breen, Van Gundy, and Mark Jackson calling the games. You can watch those old games, but if you know who won, not the same. Number 11, Tiffany and 12, Jay Catherine to close out the box. Whispers. <laughs> Kevin Knox the second. CJ McCollum, Malcolm, Donovan Mitchell, Paul George, MVP contender, not Julius Irving, Julius Randle contender. We'll put him in a sleeve. Dennis Smith Jr., Josh Hart, Ben Simmons, and Kyrie Irving. Nice contenders card, MVP contender. Sleeve it up. Pack it up. Tiffany, your last pack. Tiffany and Jake, I believe, got the autographs right out of the get-go. But we got one more, and lest we will. Tiffany is killing this box, yeah. Got the autograph. No. Jake Hafner, first and last, packed dozen. Who do we have? Damian 
Bagley the third, Zach Levine, Kevin Hoyter, Chris Paul, lottery ticket, PJ Washington Jr. We'll sleeve it up. Brandon Ingram, Lori, Markanium, Steph Curry. I gotta show Steph. And Jordan, not Michael, but Jordan Clarkson. Lottery ticket. PJ Washington Jr. There we go. We'll sleeve him up. Draft. Draft for Jake Hafner. There you are. Pack. 12 cards. Usually a nice one in there. Some numbers, some quads, contenders. Contenders. I could have been a contender. As they say, in the books, all 12 packs. There you are. Thank you for that one. Ripping, ripping, ripping. Oh, finally, some hockey. Wow, some clean ice. Two left in our garbage pail. Two left garbage pail kitties. 61 player basketball, that's six. Could be this week now. Oh, wow. This equity pack, ladies and gentlemen, just got an update. Down to six shares. Only six. Only six shares left. Oh, yeah, that's 1961. A lot of guys worth over fifty dollars to $100,000 in a 10. I'm going over this pack. I, I, I don't, I, I don't, it, not to make it sell out because I need a little break, a little mini rip rate. But this is a 61 Fleer. We put up 40 shares of this gem at 285 a share. And I just want to go over some of the players because they, they just make me feel great. Uh, Will Chamberlain in a 10 is estimated to be worth 125000 That is some equity. And then add Oscar Robertson, Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, 75000 plus if graded a 10. And Will, never mind a 10 and a 9, 38000 last sale. Uh, this will be an equity pack bonanza. Bob Pettit, uh, Chamberlain in action, Casey Jones, Sam Jones, Lenny Wilkins, Elgin Baylor in action, Al Adels, Bill Russell in action, Jerry West in action, 15,000, one five thousand plus and a 10. Other 10s, Bob Cousy, Howell, Rogers, Wayne Embry, George Lee, Walt Bellamy, over 5,000 and a 10. And there's about seven or eight other guys worth over 3,000 in a 10. A nine of Baylor, Jerry West, and Paul Arzine, 10,000 plus. Here's the best part. There's six cards in here. There's only 66 cards in the series. I repeat, six cards, not 200, not 500, not 800, 66 cards in the series. 44 of those 66 are their rookie years. 22 are action cards, 44 are common, 66, 20 Hall of Famers, 43 cards, they could be doubles, are Hall of Famers. And we auction off in our, for our equity share with the wax wrapper, which is worth 50 to 100. That's it. We dropped the marker on that one. I don't have a mic to drop, but we dropped the marker on that. That is one hell of a pack. I'm looking live. Six left. Equity pack. All nines in that pack are worth some big money. Go check out the listing. If you're in it, when it sells out, great. If you're not, you want to just tune in for some history. And here we go. Need a little nourishment. Maybe one. Mike Bossy. Where is Mark Yelly? Kelly Michael Jordan Clarkson. That's a hell of a name. Hell of a name. The KMJC. There we are. We're paging Mark Yelly. Mark Yelly. Mike McCoy's paging you. Right now we're paging. Let me get the pack up there. 78. Thank you for that, contenders. We got another one up there. Some great rookie class as we go a little modern on occasion. 78. Oh. Peachy, oh Peachy, Hockey Roo. Down to five. Five Did the red light special saw that, right? Oh yeah, the red light special. Oh, five in the equity pack. Oh boy. I didn't mean to really press the metal to it. I just can't wait to open it. Four. Four. It's not even a red light special. 
Wow, what a pack. Only 66 cards in the in the series. That's what I can't get over. You got nobody reads. I don't read. Read the listings once in a while. It's it's really the details are phenomenal. JustRipIt.com, our first hockey pack. We have a lot of hockey, including Wayne Gretzky's rookie year in Opeachy or Topps form. But this is a 78 Opeachy hockey wax pack. Why is that pre-Gretzky, which is 79? Mike Bossy, $5,000. Mike Bossy highlight, $3,000. Uh, Bernie Federko, $2,000. Uh, a nine of Bossy's worth a thousand. Only 396 cards, 44 Hall of Famers. Let's randomize this. Five times randu. First of all, let me get the contenders off of there. Confusing everybody. Five on the randu for the O Peach. Let's go five. One, two, Ruth three, Gehrig four, and DiMaggio fiber. Top card, Josh Kramer. And then Tim, the last card in this pack. Here we go. Let's get some hockey going. 73 spots in the jackpot. 73 spots in the jackpot? Holy cow! Holy cow! One garbage pail. Garbage pail. Sold out. Garbage pail. Sold out. Oh, I got to add a fourth prize. Our jackpot's over 70. 73. First prize, nothing to show. A free equity share. That's 61. Could, one of those could be yours if it doesn't sell out by the end of the show. Uh, second prize is a randomized card of your choice. Randomized card. Anything you want on the site. Third place. 96 97 Bowman basketball, the whole pack. Six chromium cards. May there be a Kobe in there. That would be almost like a first place. What can I add for fourth place now? Fourth place. Huh. A card? Here's a nice. It's a nice little prize in there. I'm gonna add a fourth place. Some nice cards here. Fourth place for the jackpot is now a 1961 Warren Spawn PSA 4 All-Star card, Hall of Famer. <laughs> That is now fourth prize. Let me just get this situated here. Third is that Kobe Bowman best. Fourth will be a Warren Spawn great sporting news pack Hall of Famer. Fourth prize. Fifth prize will be this beautiful, wow, because you know what makes this special? This is a 1961 Yankee team. In there, nestled somewhere, is the Mick. That's a PSA 5 New York Yankee team card. 1960 card, 228. That'll be fifth prize. We now have five prizes in our jackpot. And we may even add some more. Equity share, randomized pack, randomized card of your choice, Bowman Chrome Basketball, Warren Spawn will be number four. And a 61 PSA 5, beautiful Yankee team card. Looks like a six. So the jackpot just keeps building. And there we have it, five prizes in check. Okay, back to the hockey. Let's Three see. left in the equity pack. Three left, wow, somebody wins. There's other equity packs to choose from, but wow. Let's get this 78 Peach going. As we close in on, oh, I'm at 10 o'clock. It's early. 1978, oh, bitchy, oh, hockey pack. Knock on the plastic if you're with me. PSA 9, mint 1982213. The hype man. Let's go sixth. Oh, you know, we need a mug. Oh, we can give out some mugs. Absolutely. My mug's getting a little shorter on my Johnny Black and Water. Well, I did not need that. We need a Zamboni. 78 Beach. 
We need a Zamboni on the ice. What the hell's going on around here? Look, this stuff's flying all over. I need a bulletproof vest. Ooh, just slip right out. Wow. Zamboni. Give me a Zamboni, somebody. Dyson. Oh! I ain't taking any chances even with the, even with the Dyson. There we go. 78 of Peach PSA 9 in the book. Rest in peace. 78. Oh, Peach. Back. Here we go. Top card. Josh Kramer. Last card. Tim Gray We open it from the bottom. Oh, wow. Look at that. 78. Super Bazooka. Cherry Grape and Original. Some good stuff right there. Really. <laughs> Fill the mug. I know. What's going on around here? I, I, it's tough. Like, where I told everybody earlier, things I miss right now is when you walk into a place and they're like, what can I, what can I get you? Or you want to sort a tab? Wow, what the hell's going on here? Holy cow. Let's roll the gum. Should label them all, roll the, roll the gum for the ran new. What a mess. Got gum stuck to my pants. All right. Quality duster right there. Blows away all fragmentation of our great and unsearched and sealed packs. Here we go. Card one. 78 of Beach. We got card 36. There ain't too many 10s, so I need some pricing on the 9s. Let me just put the 9s. Uh, one left in the 61. One left in the 61. 78 in the jackpot. Card one. Josh Kramer. That is... Pierre LaRouche. Pierre LaRouche had. Where's Roger Andrews? Canadians. Pierre LaRouche. Canadian great. Pierre LaRouche. Looking for Mike Bossy. Number two, Jeremy Baker. Oh, wow. That's a definition of a miscut. Even Greg Smith. He's trying to look at the next card over there. It's part of another card over there. Wow. That is the definition of miscut. Number three, Josh Kramer. Gardner, not the Yankees. Paul Gardner, Rockets, card three, number 88. These are packed fresh, a little centering issue here. The pack was graded a nine. Sold out, 61 Oh, it's gone. Sold out. It's sold out. Oh, when is this gonna? Is it tomorrow? Is it Wednesday? We gotta alert a lot of people. That's a PSA graded pro basketball 61. Fleer is gonna be resting in peace. Wow. Wow. And look what they gave out back in 61 an engine powered airplane for $6. Wow. Who needs drones? Wow. All right, that pack will remain around. That's going to be opened up this week. Number four, Tim Grable. Grabeel. Eves Bellinger. Y-V-E-S. Bellinger. No tens. A lot of no tens in this pack. We can see by the centering. Anthony Verdicchio. Anthony. There is a 10 in, in the Eves. How about Dale Taloon? 146. A little better centering there for this penguin. Dale Taloon. Basically, with this pack, we're looking for Bossy for Durko. Number six, Timmy Grabeel. 
Mike McEwen, Rangers. McEwen. Number seven. A little bit of fuzz on the back of that card. Ron. Ron Grom. Grahami. Graham. Graham Cracker. A little bit of something on there. That's kind of odd. Kings wearing a Bruin jersey. Number eight, Tim Grabeel. Whoa. Maybe there's only eight in the soap each. Now we have 10 cards and there's only eight. There's number eight for Tim. So Fire Marshal Bill and Tim. I think we have another one. We can roll you in. We can give you points or but Fire Marshal Bill, card nine, when they're, we're short, you get a credit, a full refund, or a roll into a pack if we have it. And Tim Grabeel, you guys, nine and ten, get a credit. Nine and ten. Fire Marshal Bill, if you're watching, and Tim, nine and ten credit. As far as one through eight, they're here. There's the pack. When we're short a card and we ruin someone's night, I'm going to give away for two people. Got to do some more hockey ripping. First and second prize, I will re-randomize. 1982 Pack Fresh album stickers, six stickers per pack for first and second prize. Because I got to keep the hockey train going. Next up is a Crown Royale with cheese. So first prize, second prize on the randu, which we will randu once with one dice. I mean five. Let's go five on the randusker. First and second, get some cool stickers if you're a hockey fan. And you guys must be. So let's go five. One, two, three, four, five. Tim Grabeel and Timmy G. Both packs. Wow. You had the most in there. So you get both. And now I can open them up and show our hockey fans. Timmy G. Timmy G. Here we are. They're sealed, but sometimes if I squeeze them a little, there we go. 38 years old. Let's bring some more hockey power. Rick Green Capitals. Bob Suave. There's the back. Card 181. Ronnie Dugay. Wow. He he dated, I think, Farrah Fawcett. It was in the post, though. There's nothing else to read. Ronnie Dugay. He, he dated some model and took her to 54. Stanley Cup action shot, 1982. Billy Smith, Islander great. And there is Stanley Cup Tom Lisiak. Ron Duguay. He was a player. Actually, when that came out, I think it was Farrah Fawcett or Cher. Oh, Cher. It was Cher he dated. The Rangers traded him. That was the end of his career. Poor guy. But he, you know, is hanging out with Cher. Studio 54. True story. Go read it. Read it, read it, read it. Timmy G, let's get out some more stickers here for you. The wrapper I try to keep intact. Oh, wow, look at that. Creased it right open for you. Calgary Flame, Ken Houston, or Houston. Walt McKemmy, Bill Delago, Joe Mullen, and there's the back again. These are all stickers. An Oiler, Paul Coffey, and LaRoque, Michel LaRoque. Timmy, these were free. You didn't even know they were coming, but they were. I just throw them in there once in a while, especially if we're short a card. But Timmy and Saunders, you guys get a credit. We'll roll you into another 78, whatever you want. But that is in the books. And Gonzo, for the evening, we'll try to find Mike Bossy on another night. Wow, look at this. Look at that, huh? You know what's coming up. Crown Royale. Oh, beautiful, beautiful little boxeroony here. Oh, that almost went into my drink. Next time somebody from that team comes down here, I could use a little more whiskey and the water, if you know what I mean. You know how it goes. It's really just one of those things where... Drinking again, if I can only... 
get a fill up. Sir, would you like to start a tab? Absolutely. That's what I, that's why my, my favorite line is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Crown Royale. I'm gonna next time I go out for my essential need, I will pick up a bottle of Crown Royale. Because I heard it's really it. It brings out some good stuff there. Life C Act. The Crown Royale with cheese. PJ Sauce is still around. Hey there, PJ Sauce. Woo! Sunday Sauce. Sunday Sauce. We had some Sunday Sauce here and it was delicious. PJ Sauce. Just a happy name, PJ Sauce. I don't know what it is. So we had some chicken sausage today on the grill. We're always eating here. It could be a Just Rip It restaurant soon. Eight cards in this pack box. Crown Royale right there. Let's randomize it. I'll go over it. Nine on the randu. Let's go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Discount double check was nine randu, and there is nine. Frank Alloway, last card, Andrew Barnhorse, the last three actually. Wow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's put these names up. And there we are, let's make them a little bit bigger because we're sticking to the numbers there. Frank, Jim, Don, Michael McCoy, Shane and a three Andrews in our Crown Royale with cheese. 87 spots. We could be adding some more. Next up, stick around. You never know. Mr. Jeter could be making an appearance. And then we got Dr. Evil, Evil Knievel, for your entertaining pleasure. 74 cello pack of the greatest daredevil ever to don the motorcycle. Okay, the support team. Yeah, what's going on with the support team? It's unbelievable. You have a razzle. They're up there eating. Crown Royale with cheese. Speaking of eating, that's just making me very hungry. Crown Royale with cheese. Right here, one autograph, one memorabilia. It's a box with a pack with eight cards. A box with one pack, eight cards. And we are looking for silhouette and rookie silhouette autos. The very popular, famous and rare, Kaboom cards. You get one of those, we'll play a Kaboom. Williams, Zion, Jean Morant rookies worth over a thousand. Again, eight cards, there's one autograph, one memorabilia, two insert slash parallels, and four base cards. And those same rookies again. We did a triple crown, C certified, contender, and crown royale. Like the bag says. Crown Royale with cheese. Where's the bull? The bull will hold down that. Love it. DJ, if you're watching, thank you for that. Okay, let's get this box open and ready. Frankie Alloway. Frankie Alloway. Let's get some good cards is right. You got the top card. You got one spot in this little, little box with the Crown Royale. As John Travolta said, the Samuel L. Jackson Crown Royale with cheese. Let's get this out of here. Like I said, there it is. One pack with cheese. <whistles> Top card is Frank. You open it from the bottom. Crown Royale. Beautiful cards. Beautiful, beautiful. Shane, oh, we got McElroy and McCoy, four and five. This should be interesting. We open it from the bottom and we start from the top. Beautiful cards. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Frankie Alloway, first card. Nick Julius Randall. I like these because I can hold them. They got nice indentations. Julius Randall, 
Crown Royale. Beautiful cards. Can't even check the corners because there's only two of them. Julian Randell. Card two. Jim Lavoy. Victor Oladipo. Oladapio. He's a pacer. Let's just call him Victor. V for Victor. Pacer. Card three, Don Harden. Damien, need we say more? Blazers there. Card three. Got some action coming up. Mike McCoy. Oh, Mikey McCoy. Hmm. Mike McCoy, what do we got here? Lords of the Court, not Lords of the Ring. Zion, Lords of the Court. That is numbered 84 out of 99. Not one Zion, you got two. In two different jerseys, Lord of the Court. Oh, Lord. Card number nine. Lord of the Court, 74 out of 99. Sleeve it up. One of the most bizarre cards you'll ever see from Crown Royale. Close to a little less than $200, ungraded. Maybe worth grading. Lords of the Court, 84. Check that, 84 of 99, over $100, ungraded. Nice card, and only made 99 of them. I like it because it's his home and away jersey. Very nice, Mike McCoy, nice pull there. Number three, I'm sorry, number, number four. Let's put this in the four card so we keep the order correctly. All right, there's something crazy going on here. Shane McElroy, Shane, you got one of those down arrows. This is an Admiral. Admiral Schofield of the Wizards, heir to the throne. Hatch, heirs to the throne of the Admiral. Not David Robinson, he was the Admiral. Admiral Schofield, H-T-A-S. That's a nice patch right there. I will not touch it and mar it up. Let's put it into a sleeve. So we got that Zion. We got the memorabilia. Now we're still waiting for the autograph. Put him away there, Shane. That's Admiral Patch Autograph. Heirs to the Throne. HT as Heir to the Throne and AS his initials. Support team grade. <laughs> Heirs to the throne. Six, seven, and eight. Andrew Barnhorst. We got auto. Carson Edwards. Autograph 28 out of 49. Celtics. Carson, C A R S E N. Edwards. 28 of 49. Rookie autograph. Tell you, they could be on their way to winning a title also over there. So put this away. Number six, on card there, autograph or a sticker, whatever they will call it. Andrew, there's your autograph. Numbered Carson Edwards Celtics in the sixth spot. You get seven and eight. More Crown Royale with cheese. Bradley Beal, nice card there, Bradley Beal. And we close out the Royale with card eight for Andrew. We got the autograph of Pascal Siakam Raptor. Integral part of winning that title for the Raptors. Card eight. There it is. Couple of nice bases. Uh, Edwards Celtic autograph. 
an heir to the throne of the Admiral, and Mike McCoy pulls a double Zion, Lord of the Court, numbered Zion, 84 out of 99. Zion, and a couple other nice base cards there. Crown Royale again. Crown Royale into the pouch. And there you have it, in the books. Okay, from basket, hockey to basketball to baseball. Wow, this should be exciting. It always is exciting. It always is a significant pleasure here. Thank you, everybody, for that Crown Royale. Two nice cards, usually three, maybe sometimes four out of the eight. Not a bad bang for the dollar there. Next coming up, 93 Upper Deck SP. Baseball pack, 12 cards, anywhere from zero, one to two foils per pack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jeter, why are we all jetered up? Because a PSA 10 foil card of number 279 of the Yankee captain, Captain Clutch, Mr. October slash November, depending if you're a Reggie fan or not. 180,000, last card 140,000. Trending over 100,000 for that foil. And we're also looking for Chipper Jones, Manny Ramirez, over $800 in a foil. And Johnny Damon's rookie card, and Dimitri Young over 400. Most other foils are averaging one to three hundred dollars. And a Bo Jackson 10 non-foil, a hundred bucks. Ken Griffey and Mike Piazza starting to creep up in this 93. Let's be gentle. Let's randomize everybody ten times for the Jeter pack. Let's go ten. Ten. One. Jeter two. Three. Four. Fiver. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Discount double check is 10. There's 10. Joshua top card, Jim Lavoy, the last card in the pack. Let's put them up and let's get ready to rip. We have pulled, I believe, three Jeters already. And let's shoot for number four. Mr. Jeets. Who would ever, who would ever, we all thought, we all know. The guy's just great. The only problem with Jeter right now is he owns the Marlins. We open it from the bottom, top card is Joshua. There's another foil gone. First card, Joshua Grettenberg. You get Steve Farr. He's a Yankee, but you know what Yankee we want. Card two, Jeremy Baker. You're in there for the 93. Oh, you were close. Next card is a foil. Jeremy, you get card number two. Carlos Quintana. I guess he caught it. Carlos. Ooh, number three. One card in the pack. It's his rookie year. Oh, baby. Michael Towns need a rookie foil of Johnny Damon. Short hair, no beard. A lot of hair on his chest, but not on his beard. That's Damon. best foil, I think it's the third, Johnny Damon, foil rookie card, last sold for $400 a year ago, good old Johnny B. Good, I think that would go higher in the 10, based upon last sale, Michael Towns, give us a pulse if you're out there, yeah, Jeremy, just missed it by one, Randuski. there we have it, 
Just happy to get a foil. Maybe there's two. Ah, I tell you, that looks not that bad either. Let me take a close peek at that. Foil cards are very delicate, but a nice Damon there. I always liked Johnny Damon, even with the Red Sox. He was just a good hustling player. That was card three. Michael Towns. Boy, sometimes it just takes one. And there you have it. Damon. Let's keep going. Andrew Loveridge. Andrew McLovin Loveridge. Some of these cards are sticking together. Foil. Just no sticks, though. No sticks at all. So sorry if some of these cards are a little sticky. But number four, David Cohn. Yeah, you can see a little sticker Rooney. Base cards aren't worth that. I told you only about a couple are worth about 100 bucks. Card five. Glenn Krug, Felix Jose, yeah, all the little packs right there have a little corner damage. I, they're pack fresh, but they're very condensed. Six, Anthony Verdicchio, great player there, great base stealer. Timmy Reigns, avoiding the tag. Expo. Tom Brady is living, is living in Jeter's Mansion here in St. Yeah, they call it St. Jetersburg, by the way, not St. Petersburg, but Brady is renting it out. They're just, they're just blessed. That was uh, six, Anthony. Seven, Glenn Krug. Ray Langford. Ray Langford. Seven. Brady living in Jeter's, St. Jetersburg. So fun, his mansion. Come on. There we go. Number eight, Mo, Larry and Curly, Mo Vaughn. That was eight for Jim Lavoy. Joe Wackham, Lee Smith, Cardinal Pitcher. That was nine. Ten, Joe Wackham. Joe Wackham. Let's try to see if we can salvage this card here. Kangra, yeah, it's not it's not a 10. He's a hundred dollars in a 10, but we got a little bit of the stickies there. Ken Griffey Jr., that's a great shot. Tough to pull Hen Murbo Jackson out of this series. Number 11, Andrew Loveridge. Chuck Carr. And closing out the Jeter pack with the Johnny Damon foil. Number 12, Jim Lavoie. Terry Steinbeck, number 12. We are on the East Coast, David. We're on Jupiter, Florida. Jupiter, Florida, home of Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Bill Parcells, Jim Palmer, Johnny Bench. A lot of golfers, a lot of NASCAR guys. Uh, a lot of pro athletes live down here. Tiger Woods has a restaurant called The Woods. Michael Jordan's got a place called 1000 1, North. That is Michael Jordan's restaurant. Uh, they like Jupiter. It's crazy. But there it is. We did get the foil of Johnny Damon. We will try again for a Jeter. He's out there somewhere. And we'll keep trying for Mr. Jeterberg. Yeah, he filed for a TB. Tom Brady and Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Tom Brady. He's just doing it all. He wants to stay on the East Coast to be close to his first wife, but she lives in New York, so I don't know what the three hours. I mean, he's got a private jet. What's I think he just thinks Tampa's gonna be good. We have a Tom Brady box up there. Two thousand box up there. Peyton Manning's on the cover. Don't get confused. It's all about Tom Brady. We have a box break up there where his card's worth a lot of money. Go read about it. Go check it out. Tom rookie card. Get it now, because you know it's just going up higher. Jackpot's up to 87. We probably will be adding a, we got five prizes already. We hit 100, we'll probably hit a couple more there. At just rip -a -roo. Wow, look what we got coming up next. Talk about a little breather. I still, I got nothing here. I, I got no, no beverage. Oh. You know what, when you think the mug's empty, there's always something in there. It's a blessed mug. 
It never empties. Now it's empty. Woo! Yeah, he trademarked TB for Tampa Bay. Tom uh, Brady for Tampa Buck. Love it down here. Wish it would rain. <laughs> Gino, you're down in Florida. It doesn't rain. Ne never rain. It rains in the morning. It's like a rinse. It's over. Spring train. Actually, I heard, and again, this isn't sports talk or sports radio. I heard they were going to do a grapefruit cactus mini, mini season where they had the grapefruit versus the cactus, just trying to make it different, where all their teams will go back to their respective training camp facilities because they house three or four teams or five teams like in Jupiter, they play at Roger Dean Stadium, and they'll just play a round robin and just do a grapefruit versus, versus cactus league World Series. I heard that, again, you hear a lot of stuff, but uh, I heard that was one of the ideas they were uh, thinking about. Um, the asterisk before they canceled, yeah, good point. The asterisk don't make the front page of the sports anymore. Okay. Oh, wow. Mark Yelly. Mark Yelly, is he in the room? Was he just the mm -hmm. given before? Mm -hmm. Wow. We, our last Evil Knievel was a sweeper room. Thank you, everybody, for that 893 SP. The Hunt for Jeter, but some of those nice foil cards in there. Oh, I would love to go to Tampa. It's probably about a three, four, five hour drive, but worth it. I was going to go to WrestleMania in Tampa until they told me they they weren't allowing any guests or any, any uh, spectators. I love, if you can get into that pirate ship at Tampa, that is the seat of all seats when they fire the, I feel bad for Winston, but he'll, he'll find his way somewhere. He will. Uh, Mark Yelly, let's get the broom out. Let's get the broom, but the broom means that someone bought the entire pack. There's no randomization. He gets all the cards in the pack. The sticker we're supposed to randomize, he gets it. And I'll try to salvage the wrapper for him. And this evil Knievel, where tens can exist for over $500 plus of the great legendary daredevil, evil Knievel. Uh, the auto stickers in the pack usually would be randomized, but Mark Yelly swept it. He gets the whole kit and caboodle. Only 60 cards in the set. Very nostalgic pack. And it is a 1974 Evil Knievel solo pack. PSA graded 7. Let's check out the evil man himself. The guy that broke every bone in his body. We pulled him out of Sport King Series A. I think Fire Marshal Bill got a very rare... He couldn't sign. He never signed. I think he broke all the finger uh, bones in his hands. Just, just saying that he couldn't do it. But Mark Yelly, here you go. Water and whiskey, W and W. It's not that hard. It really isn't. It's unbelievable. But Mark Yelly, knock on the plastic if you're with me. Evil Knievel. Talk about Daredevil. That went off the left jugular there. Wow. Take it easy there, Evil. His son, by the way, is a Daredevil. He was on a special last year or two years ago. Following in his father's footsteps is bone breaking. Never rains in Florida. More green down here than anything. Evil Knievel, cello pack. Coming at you at justripit.com, where it's Jordan, Gretzky, Jeter, Will Chamberlain, Lou Alcinder, and yes, Evil Knievel. Check out our non-sport. We got some Beatles packs up there. The Green Hornet, Superman, the Three Stooges, which opened up last week. And one of those cards we showed is going to PSA. Could be a rare, rare 10. That would be fantastic. And here we go. Up and at him. When Evil was on TV, David Ricerone, I agree. When he was on, he was going to jump... He jumped the fountains at Caesars. He was going to jump the Grand Canyon, but I think, uh, you know, he was getting a little loopy. Didn't break any, broke his skull a couple times. But wow, when he was on, action. Here we go. Mark Yelly, a sweeper pack. Sauce. I saved the wrapper for you there, Mark. Save the wrapper. Just if you're an Evil Knievel fan, 
no rips at all from the ripper and the bolt will hold it down the bolt will hold it down in place here we go mark let's provide some entertainment i sh he was in spaceships and he was all over the place look at the back of the card number 48 blue back evil knievel great story on the back but he was in some space shuttles too he his rockets were beautiful red white and blue god bless america card number two you can see too in flight that looks a little 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 tough with the centering on some of these card 54 only 60 cards in the set obviously one and i'm sorry 61 and 60 were the best Number three, Ascent the Danger, going up in that chairlift. Look at the guy. No fear at all. Card 46. Mark, we'll check any of these for possible tens. They're a little bit tough to get into a 10. Card four, Man of Action. That's an understatement. Man, I think Fire Marshal Bill got a piece of his jacket and an autograph of Evil Knievel out of that Sports Kings A. That was fantastic. Card five, little miscut, but still driver's seat. I don't know what was going through his brain. Card 27, when he was about to do a jump. Card six. Retrieving the sky cycle. I don't know what he was doing. It was a helicopter and a rocket. There's a they should really throw some of those on again. Card 57. And we usually would randomize this. Some people do collect these. It's very cool. I'll show this. Auto stickers. All little cool autograph stickers. Sidco, Suzuki. It's just a blank back, but all little stickers there. That was supposed to be randomized. That goes out to Mark Yelly as well part of the sweeper package snake river jump yeah <laughs> fire marshal bill remembers he was, was he, he was joking with the grand canyon but there it is evil knievel the stickers and six pack fresh cards i mean there he is i mean i don't know the guy just had zero fear and he really did risk his life which is really phenomenal Put all these. Mark Yelly. Thought he was in the room before. And the wrapper. You were there. There you go, Mark. There's your Evil Knievel pack, wrapper, and stickers. All one shot for you. Sweeper pack. You buy the whole pack out. If you're lucky enough to buy it out before someone takes down the card, we throw in the wrapper for you. And there we have it. Where are we at here? Wow, we're going on four hours. Woo! Wow, uh, we got a red light special. That's it for the pack opening. We got a lot to do tomorrow. We're not going to one o'clock today. We got Tuesday, Wednesday, and maybe even Thursday. Once again, I know we're dipping in here. Any kids at home that want packs, garbage pail, boxes full of them, boxes. Let's give these away. We'll give you a couple. Any kids, garbage pail, wacky packs, Pokemon. We gave out some Godzilla earlier. There's our Mork and Mindy, Nanu Nanu, Michael Jackson. They're all there. You saw them before. Don't forget, if it's not, it's while supplies last. So if you got them last week, it's a new week. Just let us know what you need and we will send them out to you. Uh, Sports King Series F, our red light special. Mark Yelly, thank you again for that evil Knievel entertainment pack. There we go. Ripping has been done. We got this and our jackpot giveaway. Wow, wow. So many, some happy people. And some more ripping right down the line. Red light special. Yes, Mark, we'll look at the tens for centering. That was a fun pack, Evil Knievel. I don't know if we have any more. That was a very nostalgic. Oh, and on sport up there, that one Beetle uh, pack has three left. Paul, John, Ringo, and Paul, George. <laughs> Good stuff here. Eight people. 
Eight entries, I should say. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, eight entries. One winner takes home the Sports Kings Series F. We're gonna randomize this. 11 times on the rando for one winner. And then after this will be our jackpot giveaway. And then we can let everybody go shower up and watch the news. No, not watch the news. They'll get depressed. Let's go 11 on the rando for this Sports King Series F box. 11 on the rando. Eight entries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the winner at 11 is Fire Marshal Bill. Fire Marshal Bill. Fire Marshal Bill. Snake River. Series F. Fire Marshal Bill. Eight to one shot. You got it. There is your woo. Red light special. Here we go. We've done this before. Sport King Series F. Some great cards out of here. Let's give a slight incision, very light abrasion there. Five cards, usually one autograph or memorabilia per box. FMB on fire. He may he may smolder a little bit here or there, but a little breeze comes in, the fire marshal just lights it up again. Here we go. <laughs> Look at these guys again. Here we go again. Funny stuff here. Our red light special. Five cards. You get them all. Great set. Series F. Here we go. A mini. A mini of Man Mountain Dean. I don't even know how to even fit them on the mini. Great wrestler, Man Mountain Dean. Just a gargantuan. Card one. Number two. Olga. Olga Corbut. Gymnastics. Hope they can play the Olympics this year. She was great gymnastics. Sports Kings 282. Uh, we've seen this before. Right there. The Gifford. Frank Gifford. With that giant helmet. Number 16. Frank Gifford. Hall of Fame. Giant great. Pulled him at some of our early 60 packs before. Here is your autograph. It is Dick Fosbury. Dick Fosbury. I guess he's got to be a autograph. Dick Fosbury of the Povel. Fosbury. <laughs> Hashtag. What the hell? Yeah, well, they got Dick Fosbury autograph. It is a silver version. I have to say it's rare. Not too many Dick Fosbury entries, uh, autographs out there. Sports King Series F, the Fosbury flop. <laughs> yeah. And there's a flop. He's clearing the pole. Like a nice black and white, but that's a nice autograph. Fosbury Sports King's autograph. And the last card, Umberto Granaglia. What a bizarre box. We got Bocce Wrestling Gymnastics, a pole boulder, and Frank Gifford snuck in there. Out to you, Fire Marshal Bill. Umberto the Gipper, Frank Gifford. Win one for the Kipper. Olga, wrong person. Man Mountain, all for you, free. A little red light special on a Monday night. The Fosbury flop. Silver version, Fire Marshal. He invented the Fosbury flop. They're always interesting. They're great. 
and we give them out for free as red light, blue light specials, maybe in a rip random, whatever it may be. There you have it in the books. Again, this sold out. So we're gonna do in our jackpot now. Unfortunately, if you win the equity share, this is sold out, that is not part of it. I guess the people were getting nervous and that's what happened. But our, I guess I'll just put it on a post that first place is an equity pack share. We'll put that there. Second place, is a randomized card, so a rando card of your choice. It's scrolling up top, but I'm just gonna keep records here. Third place is the Bowman Chromium Card Pack. Fourth place, Warren Spawn, PSA graded four. And fourth place, fifth place, was a New York Yankee team pitcher PSA five with a mix somewhere in there. When you win the card, take try to see if we can find him. He's in the fifth spot. And what we're gonna do, last place, last place gets 2,500 points. So top five get those, last place gets 2,500 points. So when we scroll the randomization, we'll see the guy that's in last, nice guys do finish last. Uh, let me see if I can throw in a sixth place in there just for kicks. I gotta do it. Sixth place, rest in peace, Al Kalon. We have a 71 rack pack up there. That is the black border right there. That's Al Kaline. Rest in peace, passed away last week. That's a PSA 4. It's a 1970 card. That will be sixth place after the Yankees. Al Kaline. We have a set, we have a rack pack. Might as well show it. Might as well show it to see what it looks like. There it is. It's a 1971 rack pack. 54 cards. The header card isn't a for, uh, cards or price. It's a checklist. That's randomized for free. Some very valuable cards. Look closely. Pop Stargell on the back. Pop Stargell. I'll even show him. He's back there. Willie Stargell. There he is. Woo! Real quick. That is the Rack Pack. And that's what the card looks like. That's an Al K line. He is now the sixth price winner. And last place will get 2,500 points. Because when you finish last, you don't finish last. This is it. I'm gonna load up all those names. Wow, how many are there? And then we close it out. So let's get everybody out of here. Let's get this show off on a bang. Jackpot giveaway. Remote teaching is getting old, wow. Coaster, it's all right, Al Kaline instead. There we have it, there we have it. I think Al Kaline's better. Those coasters will be selling and giving away as limited edition. Let me load up the rando. Total count at the close, 87 people. Eighty-seven in the rando. Top six prizes. Equity pack of your choice. Randomized card of your choice. Only thing to open is the Bowman Best. Warren Spawn PSA graded card. Sixty-one Yankee team card. Al K line in sixth place and last place. Nice guys finish last. Twenty-five hundred. Good luck, everybody. Four. Four. Garrick four. Ran do. Let's go four times. Four, Rando. One, two, three, and the drum roll for all the marbles, top six, and look for last. Fourth on the Rando is the winner.
Joshua Grettenberg. Joshua Grettenberg. Scott Suzuki gets a randomized card of his choice. Jake Hafner gets the Chromium. Cooper gets Spawn. Harden gets the Yankee card. Cooper gets the Tiger card. And last place, who was last? Julian Patton Jr. gets 2,500 points. Wow. Julian Patton Jr., 2,500 points. Joshua Grettenberg, congratulations on the first place. Scott looks like a new customer. You get a free brand new pack. Jake Hafner, may you get a Kobe. Four was Don Harden. Five, I'm sorry, four was Brian Hooper. We got it all written down. Why am I writing it down? I don't know. Third base. Card five was Don Harden. Gets the Yankee. Oh! The Horn, and we're just, and then sixth place is Brian Hooper got two cards. It's final. Here we go. Brian Hooper. Al Kaline. Rest in peace, Al Kaline. Fifth place, Don Harden. Janky team guard. Find the Mick. Fourth place, Brian Hooper. His second card, Warren Spahn Sporting News, PSA 4. Jake Hafner will open this up last. That's third place. Randomized card of his choice. Second place, Scott Siskoki. And first place winner with a big old fashioned giant, Joshua Grettenberg. First place equity share of your choice. And again, Julian Patton Jr. gets the last. Let's open up our pack for Jake Hafner. Let's hope he gets a Kobe. Yeah, Mikey, what's going on here? Oh, razzle up. There we are. Good luck here, Jake. This is your pack, all six cards. Here they go, card one, Jerry Stackhouse. Patrick Ewing, retro card, cool cards regardless. You get Hakeem Olajuwon, way to go there, Jake, some nice Hall of Famers. Otis Thorpe, Otis Day in the Knights. Looking for a Kobe autograph or a refractor, I mean. Rod Strickland. And Jerry Stackhouse. Not too bad though, we'll take a 96 Akeem and uh, Ewing right there. We have a Bowman best up there, all po a box break for there. But there it is, congratulations again, Joshua. Wow, that closes out our show for almost four and a half hours again. There it is, another four and a half. We got some big time ripping tomorrow. But ladies and gentlemen, that closes out the show. Let's save some spunk for tomorrow. Joshua Grittenberg, congratulations. First place, randomized card. Scott, Jake Hafner gets the whole pack. And these graded cards again. Brian Hooper, Don Harden gets the Yankee. And Brian, you get a nice Al K-line there. And Julian Patton Jr., nice guys, finished last 2,500. Ladies and gentlemen, that closes out our show for the evening. Wow. Fantastic stuff again here at Just Rip It. That's it. Sold out. We got some glass to open tomorrow. We got an 88, 87, and 80 basketball, another garbage pail, a treasure box of national treasure. And in case you weren't paying attention, this sold out. A rare 61 Flair football wax pack, Leatherhead, tomorrow night. I think it's tomorrow or Wednesday. We will make a decision. I got the fever. You've been a great, wonderful audience. I missed you guys over the weekend. 
Look for some new packs, boxes, maybe a possibly a charity pack up there. Join us again. My mug is empty. It is going very shorter. But join us again tomorrow night. I promise there's a pack fresh Jimin out there somewhere. And we'll see everybody tomorrow night. William, have a great night. See you guys, 6.30, same ripping time, same ripping station. 10.54, signing out. Got you out before 11 a.m. Eastern. Peace.